Welcome to Golden Bag episode 57. <laughs> yes, we are Golden Bag. Shout out Golden Boy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Definitely want to We're so out easily <laughs> bought or rented, however you want to look at it. Look, are we hookers? Uh, we got to recap this. This is going to drop on Friday. We're recording on Monday. This weekend was a blast. It was weekend amazing. weekend was fun as fuck. It was fun as fuck. So much We fun. out here popping. Ow. Ow. Shout out the fans we met at the fight. That yes. shit was crazy. Yeah, we went to the Ryan Garcia, Javier Fortuna fight. Floor seats. Had right. so many of you That's hit right. us up. Uh, shout out to the winner, too, Edgar from the 909, uh, because we did a giveaway on our Instagram of who can leave a compliment for our new friend and right. bestie, Ryan Garcia. He's definitely our bestie. <laughs> He's our bestie out here in these streets. Ryan Garcia is going to be the god. <laughs> the godfather of my kids. <laughs> He's our Nino. Yeah. There's no rivals. There's no. Uh, At all. He's just everything. Straight, he just skips straight to Nino. Ryan Garcia's. I'm just kidding. No, we can't kiss his ass too much, but. We did have a blast at the fight, and they took care of us. They really, oh, yeah. they really held it down. VIP treatment. Shout yeah. out Letty. Yeah. Um, shout out Golden Boy. Um, I had no idea the amount of overlap it was between boxing fans and brown bag fans. Oh, yeah. I was, it's like, wild. shocked. Mm -hmm. Me and Duno walked in, just us two. It was wild. The security right away. I love your podcast, bro. I was like, yep. oh, shit. I was like, yeah, well, get us downstairs, brother. You're so stupid. And then the minute we walk out... Do no! Mm -hmm. The minute like we stepped two feet in there, yeah, into the blew up the whole spot. Everybody coming over, taking pictures. It that shit could be a lot, but it was hella dope. It Easy, was dope. Like, yeah. It was dope energy. Everybody had good energy. They were, you know, there was multiple fights, not just the one on the card. Yeah. Oh yeah. The ones off the card. Did you see the small boy in the cut? Yeah. It was it's, two fighters. What, it was yeah. two other fighters. Oh, that's crazy. upcoming fighters. Yeah. So you know what I realized about boxing fights that that's that that because I've never been to one. Mm -hmm. I've been to a UFC fight. I was just telling them that the UFC fights kind of like a little more like redneck vibes, <laughs> hella like people just you know like it, yeah. it's, it gives you those vibes. But yeah. boxing, it's a it's a very big Latino based mm -hmm. you know. Especially when there's two Latinos fighting, but one of them is Mexican and from California, so yeah. you're gonna show support. And going to these fights, it shows you how, how much support Ryan does have. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, 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 I know because we only see the social media shit, yeah. but Ryan does have a lot of Mexican support. Like people really fuck with him, even though he doesn't know Spanish, and you know he gets the backlash. He does. Like I think one, it's like we have to recognize that he's a really good fighter, right? Right. You know, and there are those people that like the Floyd effect. They want to see him mm -hmm. get knocked out, they be, but they they're still going to pay the same mm -hmm. amount of money. The money's still green. Yeah. You know I mean? So, like, regardless, he draws. And, and then there are people that like boxing. Yeah. yeah. They, it could live, Generally, and yeah. it could be whoever, but it's just the sport of boxing. I'm going to go watch it. Could it. Be you know what I'm saying? Cockroaches in the ring. Facts. Yeah. And even the undercard, Alexis Rocha from the OC Santa Ana. What's up? Yeah. He has his whole own fan base. Yeah. So bro, the people OC are coming going, to see him too. Bro, the OC was going crazy for yeah. that fool. But oh, that was yeah. dope. And then, and then it's funny because I'm sitting next to Jorge and Letty. Yeah. Jorge was like, hey, if you see that that logo, I designed it. Yeah, he designed it. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? Alexis Rocha's logo. That's hard. And yeah. he was like, yeah, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. He's so nonchalant. If you guys don't know Jorge, he's very like to himself and like yeah. he's just like cool about shit. And yeah. He's like, yeah, that was cool, huh? Yeah, no, yeah. that was cool. And I and I I'm telling you. When I go to the fights, I'm like, we should be here. Like, this is our shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was dope. Mm -hmm. But but seeing those two other fighters, which I took a picture with, I took a picture with them earlier. Oh, the ones that fought. Yeah, before these squabbles. Mm -hmm. And then I remember there was just, I was like, dude, they, but, it, but it's, it's, it's cool when you see fighters fight outside the ring because it just shows you how much training they do because they were doing the like little little two pieces and they're dodging yeah. And shit yeah and then the security got tackled and shit but they got hey, man, out shout the out boxing <laughs> shout out all the fans though yeah, yeah. all like baddies too shout out to all the baddies out there i'm telling you when i go i'm like this is it this is our shit and it's at it's at crypto it's at staples it's something that that is ours you know we'd also be at the vegas fights and people will drive from la to mgm or vegas wherever it drops yeah. to wherever the fights happen to go watch the fight i'm telling you because boxing is so big for us mm. um I love but that. even just the boxing like it's really good marketing for other boxers you're gonna see other boxers that literally have nothing to do with the fight mm -hmm. but they're gonna go to get their promo on yeah. like roly does that a lot like who was there jojo was there uh devin haney was there yeah haney haney was there yeah i didn't see him yeah he was there yeah haney was definitely yeah. there yeah oh yeah I ain't gonna lie. I, I if I didn't realize how much of a when you see boxing in real life, that fool Ryan Garcia's fast, dog. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, we, me and Josh were like, damn, this fool's really fast, mm -hmm. fool. Like, no, no wonder people can't hit him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's been shocked before, but because he seems super slender. 
Like yeah. he doesn't seem like the stockiest, mm -hmm. but he's fast. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. That yeah. feels like a body type where he can't dance. Yeah. Like he has like a <laughs> no like no dance move type of body well, type. You haven't seen his TikToks? He can totally TikTok dance. He can, uh, TikTok <laughs> dance and real dance is two yeah. different things. Facts on facts. But shout out the fight. That shit was cool though. Shout yeah. out Letty. Letty, yeah. what did you think of his uh, coming out music? I feel like he played it for you. <laughs> I that was so weird. I'm did like, you see how we looked at each other? Like, yeah, what? I'm like, what is it? Are we being trolled that right now? That shit was hilarious. I'm like, what the fuck, Ryan? Well, initially, like, Loki, I didn't like the, but I get it. It's part of his whole theme yeah. of being King Ryan. Yeah, that oh, they, they had like the, the trumpets. trumpets. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, you bastard. Yeah, <laughs> such an asshole. And so he comes yeah, out yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But he intentionally. See, this is my problem with with ryan is he intentionally stays away from like either the spanish song or even repping the flag anywhere you know like uh rocha who was on the undercard mm -hmm. he had the mexican flag on one side and mm -hmm. the american flag and on the other so it's like there's ways you can incorporate it <laughs> but with ryan like his shit dior. is from dior <laughs> like hard. he's just rich <laughs> hey, hey we like, were we were literally we all were like those are hard. Those yeah. Are hard. <laughs> no, but see, like, but see, like, like his ethnicity is rich. <laughs> yeah, that's what the like, ethnicity is definitely like that's rich. It. There's Ricans and then there's yeah. Ricos, and that was it. Yeah, that shit had me dead. But he did his shit, man. He represented. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But like I said, it shows you like the support. Like if you're a real boxer fan, I don't think everybody ever doubted his boxing skills. I just yeah. think people doubted his motivations. His, yeah, like his way of the way he carries himself. Mm -hmm. But um, you know what I mean? Because he does like like I said before, he does come off a little very like. Cocky, very, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? But I fucked with it. He's that fool's that fool put on a show, bro. He definitely whooped Fortuna's ass, yeah. And it's just as cool, like, even to be able to again. The and there's nothing like the energy at a fight. I know nothing. there's there's energy when you're watching it, but when you're there, you guys were in front of a dude that kept like talking shit. He's like, yeah. he's like, but like, yeah, see, but see, there's people that Ryan. are like, yeah, yeah, see, but the people that are like real boxy fans, they know like the boxers' nicknames and yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, yeah, the boogeyman keeps running. Yeah, I was like, like I don't okay. even know they call Fortuna that. Okay, so mm -hmm. the guy behind us, that's the guy you're talking yeah. about. No, no, I'm talking the guy in front of us, the one where, oh, because I was like, yeah, put him in the nuts. I know. Oh, yeah. And everybody was like, shh. Which low key that doesn't make sense, and I get you were trolling, but in there punching in the nuts is like a like a it could get it could take points taken no, off because yeah. it's a low blow. I know, but that. because I you said it was like, oh, okay. No, I know that. I was doing it because everybody was like, damn, I wish you could do that. People yeah. were like, hey, like, bud. <laughs> but like, Jose you don't want like, your, you don't want your fighter to punch the other guy in the nets because that would take points off of him. Jose was like, but boogie, bitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody started laughing, but the guy behind us started praying for. Oh, that's for what Ryan. I was about to for say. For Ryan, right before the, the whole fight. time. No, throughout the entire fight, he was behind me, and he was like, he was saying a prayer, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like an out loud prayer. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. But then he was like. Alternating from talking shit like "Let's go, Ra, put the boogeyman to sleep," yeah. and then he's like, "Dear Lord and Savior," blah, 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 blah. and I'm just yeah, like, he was like, "Which a, is it? Yeah, one mic or Uchi yeah. Wally? Like, what the it's hell?" It's all of them. It's yeah, a he was freaking going crazy. Up. That shit was a vibe, though. Yeah, and so literally, that's what happens when we're all one sided, right? We're mo more people. We're for mm -hmm. Ryan than not. When there's a fight like Tank and Ryan, it gets crazy. Oh yeah, and it goes from like funny. To disrespectful, like yeah. it goes wild. Like I remember when Tank fought um, Isaac, and I told you guys about it. Like there was like everyone like pop his pinata. They were telling Tank <laughs> to <laughs> knock out Isaac. Yeah. A lot of racist. A lot racist. <laughs> and I think just in those moments, though, you you have to just laugh at it. Oh, yeah. most definitely. Because it's a lot. Like, and I'm pretty sure. Like I'm I. I almost trip out that there's not more fights there, but I think everyone knows the energy is towards the ring. Yeah. Um, like even when people started like cheering for Isaac because he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't losing, right? Yeah, yeah. To tank. Um, there were people like, Shut up, amigo, shut up, amigo, and it's like, damn. Like, but but the best thing that you can do besides shit talking is your boxer win. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of like the part where we kind of felt like at least with the the tank Isaac, that Isaac held his own. Yeah. You yeah. Know? But when Ryan and Tank, that shit is no whole The that way fight. they've talked shit about each other, yeah. that shit is, is going to be getting, insane. It's getting mm -hmm. like, yeah. crazy. Yeah, and yeah the building's going to be crazy. Yeah. But see, like, Ryan has to win that fight. Yeah, they both. Well, so they both have O's on the line. They both are, and and this means a lot to this generation, or even just a new generation of boxers to be undefeated. Yeah. So they're both putting up that, and so it's high risks for both of them. Yeah, nah, but that shit was definitely good energy. Shout out all the fans with me because we met a lot. Yeah. A lot. A lot of fans. You know who I wish I saw, but that I saw was there? Um, Juan Toscano. 
Oh, he was there? Yeah, he was there. I didn't know he was at the fight. I didn't know either. So on his Instagram, he posted um, that Dolce & Gabbana game, like this cool fit, him and his girl went. It's like, dude, how, how do we miss some tall ass fool? I know. That shit yeah, was cool, though. That would have been cool. Folk. But yeah, shout out to fight. It was dope. Yeah. I like that energy. It was at Crypto Arena. So, you know, me and Vic literally drove like one block down. <laughs> That's right. And if I had the homies drop us off and then we got picked up down the street again. That's, That's cool. cool beans. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out my Pico Union homies that walked to Staples Center for everything. Facts. Yeah. It was a good time. Whew. All right, let's get into Don't You Know I'm Local. Yeah. Yay. Should we be clapping? I don't know how I feel I about this, know. to be honest. Fuck. Okay, we got, we're got we getting, like, super high on COVID cases. Not, like, actual, like, puff, puff, pass high, but, like, super high case mm-hmm. numbers. And it's looking like the mask mandate is back on. And I think the actual day that it will be back on is the same day as our live show, July 29th. <laughs> Fuck, that's We're sucks. Good. What do Has, we do? Fuck, have they passed it? I don't know. To be honest, I think there's like some sort of like a protocol that it has to stay high for a, a number of days or whatever. And if that happens, then July 29th, it takes effect that. So this is like the happen. proposed date that yeah. if it stays the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Why, why did it have to be on the brown bag date? Yeah. Like, are we going to have to wear first masks on stage? First fucking Beyonce decides to drop her album on the same day as a brown bag. We announced first. Oh, uh, yeah. We did Then first. she announced her shit. And now the oh, mask she's dropping on the same day we are? Yep. Y'all yeah, saying this. I don't give uh. a fuck. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but look, I'm still excited for the show. And we get to make yeah. more money because we sell masks now. Hey. Oh, damn. Hey, you feel me? Angie, get ready. Well, well what does it say right there? What does it say, the thing you just highlighted? I can't see because of my Mio Nadia glasses. Hold on. Head ass. <laughs> if, if the county stays at the high category for two weeks straight, They'll bring back rules requiring the wearing of masks during most indoor public activities. At earliest, that would be July 29th. Also, also, I don't know how I feel about, like, the mask coming back because it's like, you return know, like. Return of the mask. That, that's literally what I said. That's literally what I said. And yeah. Jose corrected me. He's like, it's return of the Mac. I was like, I, duh, yeah. Jose, I know, but uh. mask. But look, <laughs> it, it, it could go two ways. What? One, I don't got to brush my teeth. Two? No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is not the way. I'm just kidding. But look, return of the mask. It, I mean, it could go two ways. One thing I hated about the mask was there was always masks in my car on the floor, or sometimes I forgot one and now mm-hmm. I'm stuck, and mm-hmm. some stores don't want to let me in. But I mean, shit. Well, I know Target has masks ready in the front. Like, if you don't have your mask, you can ask them for one. Well, so you don't need it at Target. No, like at oh, that time. Oh, at that mm-hmm. time. Oh, yeah. okay. I think nobody's gonna listen to this. Nobody's like, I feel gonna like, listen. I feel like they're gonna do it, and then everybody collectively in Los Angeles is like, we're past that. Yeah. We don't feel like doing that. I mean, teach their own, you know? Yeah. Like, sometimes you get in the elevator, somebody's wearing a mask, you're like, oh, okay, cool. Like, right. shout and out then, to you. And then also, it's, it's like the the, the more um, woke, like, the more older people, mm-hmm. there's the one that usually have the mask. Or at the gym, I see people wear masks still. And I'm like, dude, you're fucking doing a crazy, insane workout, and you're yeah. fucking, you can't breathe. <laughs> and you know some you know some people lost family members to COVID, so they take it a little more. Yeah, you feel me? It's a little more serious, which is valid, but yeah, whatever you decide, yeah, I think it's you your decision, and I respect it whichever way it goes. The only thing I, the only thing I miss about the mask is like watching all those videos of people like being hella woke about how the mask is like controlling like us, and watching people oh, argue. They still like, got him, Josh videos? right, Josh? Yeah. Now there's monkey pox, bro. Oh, that yeah. one is yeah. crazy. Yeah. What's the here. what's the like science behind that? Monkeypox. What are they trying to do to us? I mean, it's just like, oh, you know what? COVID's getting like kind of old. Mm-hmm. Let's come up with some new shit. Yeah. Oh god, Josh. Yeah. That shit is way scarier because I'm very vain. So if I have bumps on me, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna really cry. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Bumps where? It'll be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully nowhere. <laughs> Hopefully nowhere. <laughs> yeah, and they look crazy too. Yeah. They look crazy. It looks like. Oh, I wouldn't go anywhere for weeks. Yeah. Like Rascar boys. That, that'll yeah. keep me at home for sure. Okay, well, our grocery store is ripping us off. What on earth is this about? A new study on LA Times shows that Trader Joe's is the least expensive what? Grocery store in LA. What on earth? Yeah. So they have a list. All right, so let's run through the list. And this list was like LA Times ran the numbers. Okay, so Trader Joe's is for the cheapest. What? Like, but like for what? On the average? It, yeah, read that part. 
Please go. Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay, right. Our reporters visited 10 grocery stores in the LA area on June 20th and recorded the prices of 15 commonly purchased items from eggs to coffee beans. If you buy all of these items, here's what you will pay. First of all, none of the things in this picture do they sell at Trader Joe's. Facts. Like literally so none cap. of this do Great they sell at Trader Joe's. There's no Coca-Cola. There's no Lay's. No, no Eggos. Eggos. Hell no. The Quaker Oats. Yeah, right. They got yeah. the Trader Oats. Over yeah. There. All right. So that is cap. Okay. Yeah. Trader Joe's is forty eight eighty eight because they could only find one thing. So <laughs> I read. Eggs. A, I read a. I read a. Comment. That was really funny, you guys. I made a fucking funny ass joke. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I missed it. <laughs> it's like it's if Trader Joe's is forty eight eighty eight. It's yeah. it's the cheapest because they only found one of the things, and ah, that's how wo- much one of the things cost. Genius. You're right. No, you're right. <laughs> knee slapper. <laughs> like this is my thing, right? Food for less is number two cheapest. My thing is, oh, bro, fucking groceries are expensive now, dude. Oh, yeah. Groceries are hella expensive. And when me and mom go, it's only for us, too. Mm-hmm. And that should still be a lot. And, I, and, and then, like, I'm on my healthy shit now. So, you know, I buy, like, different. Bro, the yeah. more healthier you are, the more expensive shit is. Yeah. Yep. No cap. And, and that's th- intentional. Oh, yeah. That is on purpose. Uh, uh, well, I was, uh, sorry. Um, no, what ahead. I was tripping out <laughs> on was that, like, one... I shop at Sprouts, so nice. I was like... All of this is basically Trader Joe's trying to shit on Sprouts and yeah. then using everybody else. So that's Sprouts is the most expensive. It's essentially Trader Joe's. I was, so... I like, um, how, I like how Trader... Trader Joe's is like for like white Mexicans and Sprouts is for... I hate Trader Joe's. Yeah? Yeah, I don't like... You're a Sprouts no guy? Good, yeah, I'm a Sprouts guy. They don't have no good shit. So look, what I'd seen, I looked at the comment and then I'm always into like, you know, conspiracy theories yeah, as well. I see your comment right there. But lower than that, they you said know. this is a sponsored ad. And it would like mm-hmm. imagine like that would make sense. Fucking LA Times, bro. Stop right? dicking us little fuckers. That's what I'm saying. Like For imagine LA if you Times see is this? taking money from Trader Joe's. How many, would. how many they people are going would. to Trader Joe's after this and not going to Sprout? Like me, yeah. I'm like, damn, like I've been getting ripped off every week. I just hate how they did Northgate markets like that, dog. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Northgate is kind of expensive. Sometimes. They did it yeah. at Costco, so this all because it's not considered. Uh, yeah, like, that's uh, like more. Uh, I think they call it big box. Uh, uh but food for less, yes, we've been knowing. I love see, see, my thing is, though, like, like me being hella ignorant and a kid from, like, like from pornis, to me. What's that from porn? It's from, from being <laughs> yeah, poor. Oh, poor, yeah. Poverty. Me, yeah, from yeah. From poverty. Like, bro, like, if you shopped, like, at Ralph's or, like, Vaughn's, you were hella rich to me. Yeah. Ralph's is food, expensive. Food, food for, for less, less is it. Food for less, Northgate, and, like, La, El, El Numero Uno, or, yeah. like. Or like a Nordgate was yeah. like where you go because Super A because you know like Super A. Go. Yes, I used to go to Super A all the time for sure. Super A is like some like A one A Nella vibes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever. There's some they're in, in the SUV too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, no. They're in Paramount. They're in yeah. uh, Southgate. Yeah, I'm Super A. <laughs> uh, not from the real LA, so we only have uh, fucking. Uh, ah. You have Gianitas, that's it. Now nah, we have food for less. All right, then chill. So do we too. But Why I, does everything have to be like a hood competition? Like yeah, we have shittier bathrooms. Yeah, than you. like yeah. calm down. <laughs> I remember, I remember one time me and the homie were arguing in the homie grew up like in a really nice area in the city, and I was <laughs> like, "Shut up, is. bitch! You ain't never been through nothing. We don't have trash cans in our building." <laughs> the homie was like, "So your, so your building stinks?" Yeah. And I was like, "Valid point, bitch. Fuck you." Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is there something you guys ever argued about with LA people because just because you guys are a little from the Oscars? Was like was like a was like something you ever argue with it, Vic? I mean, people always say like, "Oh, if you're not from Compton yeah. or South Central, Ooh, then you're not from LA. You're not from LA or downtown. You're not from LA." I'm like, "What? Like, I'm from Glendale. I get I'm not from the Valley, and yeah. I also get I'm not from LA. I'm neither like, here nor there with it. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm everything. I'm Los Angeles. I am Los Angeles. Come on. Yeah, people try to say like Hawthorne is in LA or like Downey is in LA. I'm like, what are you guys? We talking get it. About? You're from Echo Park. No, 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 no. Look, I'm going to keep it a book. You know, people confuse Echo Park with East L.A. People always ask me yeah, if I'm from East L.A. East. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm by Dodger Stadium. And, and they still like, like, no, so East like, L.A. Like, no, and they're like, so you're from the Nella. I'ah like, mm, mm, this way. Kinda. I'm like, I'm literally from the beginning of Los Angeles. What is East Los then? East Los is after the 6th Street Bridge. Okay, yeah. just say what, what cities are East Los. East Los is East like. East Los is the city. Is, okay, Boyle Heights is on city, so Boyle Heights people don't come for me because I know mm-hmm. we're not East LA, we're Boyle Heights. Mm-hmm. So we Boyle Heights is Boyle Rock. Heights. Mm-hmm. Boyle Heights is Boyle Heights. And then there's Montebello and Sereno, Hello. City Terrace. Um, That's all East Los. East Los. Alhambra? 
No, no, no. no I'm now you're getting SGV no. with it, baby. That, that's that's SGV? Yeah. That is like border, exactly. though. Yeah. Oh, for me, SGV. Oh, well, what's other? Uh, oh, no, that Monterey Park is already. Uh, Monterey Park. I think Monterey LA? Park is a good middle. Like, yeah. it's, 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 it's the cutoff. perfect mm-hmm. middle. Yeah. Yeah, Monterey Park, you're, you're either. If you're at the end of this side of Monterey Park, you're San Gabriel Valley. If you're on this side of. of it's Monterey, down Montebello. Yeah. Montebello, East yeah. LA. This what? might be too old school for you, but Monterey Park reminds me of Monterey Jack from the Rescue Rangers. That no no one gets it. Someone here Rangers. gets it. It's what is it? Is it show? No, it was Rescue a movie. Rangers is the little chipmunks. Mm-hmm. But then Monterey Jack is is like a a rat oh, and yeah, he likes with, cheese. Yeah, with the cheese. Yeah, <laughs> they and just I, came have out the movie. That, yeah. I have deals that have that. I have deals that have like that Monterey mustache. Jack. Yeah, and so <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. So, so what does it look like? Like a porn stash? Oh, kind of. It's a kids thing. No, no, I, yeah, I just got yeah. a porn stash. Like no, like like a brocha. It's more like brocha. a brocha. Oh, like it connects or it doesn't connect. It's like yeah. that. Like it's like. This. Hey, my friend. Oh, a little loop. Her yeah, man kinda. has a sick ass brocha, brocha, and I was like, damn, let's Fun. go. Do you come? Does he come? It's fucking cool. I want to see. Have you seen him coming? Hey, I'm not no. gonna lie. Every time I see uh, somebody with just a mustache, I'm like, freaky guy right there. Why? You don't think so? Why do you only have a mustache, you uh, perv? What <laughs> else should you have? What Everything else? else. Like, you know, you know at least can, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's true. Like, like you know if Vic didn't have this and only this, I would definitely think you're a perv. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me, give, give me hella you weird You need bugs. a little bit of chin hair, a little bit of, like, cheek something. hair or something. Look at this. Sorry, yo. No, that food bro is crazy. Oh, that shit he has, like, a patch. That shit looks like a shoe cleaner. Hey, this is crazy because her friend is a cop and this dude is like a definitely gang member. Body <laughs> <laughs> always is like, did they meet while she arrested him? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Officer. Role Mrs. Play. Officer. <laughs> Leave her alone, okay? Hey, let the, uh, what freeway would you consider you grew up by? Uh, four, three, five, the five. The five? Yeah. That's LA. That's very LA. Yeah, I know. I just get judged it's, and I understand it. I get it. I get it. We have a little bit more privilege than like literally growing up, you know, like any no, no, no. or South Central. But, or I like that. Lie. but I did get freaking shot when I was little in a drive by. Cause like I live in Glendale, but there's bad parts to every city. No, yeah, so there's I a live ghetto in, in every the hood city. of Glendale. But see, that's like see when you're like even when you're like in LA. Like I remember I used to be like, damn, Montebello's nice. Yeah. Until some shit happened to Montebello. I thought Whittier was really, really nice. Nah, Whittier is grimy. No, I thought Whittier oh, was parts. fly. There's yeah, parts. yeah, There's yeah. parts that are nice. Bro, Hawthorne is grimy. Hills. Gardena's grimy. Yeah. Paramount is grimy. A lot of cities are hella grimy. Facts. What's one city that you consider really nice, but you know it's hella grimy? Hmm. hmm. Well, honestly, I feel like the hood is nice sometimes. Like, what you might call it? Like, watching Boys in the Hood or all those, like, even Friday. Like it's like, houses? damn, they had full-on houses. Yeah. Like, I, nice I lived property. in apartments. Yeah. Like, yeah, what you, the fuck? This is an upgrade. Well, well fuck it. Let's, bro, let's talk about this. Yeah. I always wondered why people were going through it. Like, fool, you have your own room. You, in fact. <laughs> like, fool. I'm a whole ass no, out. Fool, I, because I literally grew up in on apartments. My yeah. city, unless, unless you start going more towards, like, Echo Park or you grew up, like, in Angelino Heights. Mm-hmm. But everything from where I grew up, and there's certain places that right. have houses, certain blocks that have houses, but everything from where I grew up to like, so I'm from like, like, like the beginning of like downtown LA, end of it, whatever, Echo Park area, and then there's like Westlake, and then um, there's Pico Union. Yeah. If you walk from where I grew up up straight up the hill and just go straight from Echo Park to Westlake to Pico Union, you're not gonna see a house. You're gonna see a gang of yeah. cracked ass buildings. Right next to each other. And then I've had this conversation with people that are from outside the city, like Dinero, which he grew up in Indo. He's like, fool, how do you guys live like that? You guys have no space. <laughs> and, bro, there's buildings that share Cornish, one bathroom. That's how. Bro, oh. me and my mom, when, when we got evicted, and fuck, we got evicted because me on from, from where I grew up, bro. Because of you? Literally. So we got evicted oh. from my other apartment because of my sister, but this one we got evicted. They were just being hella extra about the shit. Bro, well, my because you guys were being bad and doing No, well, it's just like, it's like they had like were videos checking? of me like, no, not even, but they had videos of me like jumping through the balcony to get into my own house and they're like, oh. you can't do that. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? But bro. <laughs> get a key, bro. <laughs> so, when, so when me and my mom were looking for like apartments, she had found some and bro, some of the apartments share one bathroom. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, a community mom. bathroom, what do you mean? essentially. Like, so, like, it's one oh, of like on, on per you floor. You have more than one bath. Oh, one bathroom oh. for all the tenants like per wow. floor. And I was like, look, mom. Yeah. And I was like, and I was like, mom, I'm down to thug it out with Erica. Oh, I'm like, man. fuck it, cause bro, sharing a look. I could live in a single, but sharing a bathroom with a gang of random people is crazy, yeah. dog. Yeah. 
So shout out to you if you ever have to do that because I know a lot of the houses in in, in Westlake, a lot of the apartments have to deal with that because it cra- it got so crammed from all the um, from all the, from all the people that were coming from different countries. Yeah, and especially Westlake is big on Salvadorian, Honduran, mm-hmm. and the Guatemalan community. Yeah. And when all that was happening, I was like, fuck, that's oh, crazy, dog. Like, so for I don't sure. want to take a, a cerote where the cerotes shit, too. <laughs> oh, that was right? funny. That was funny. That you was can a, say that. That's privilege right there. I'm going to definitely say, say that, Joe. I don't want to shit with cerotes. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my salvies. Gang, gang. All my best friends are salvi. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Letty's a salvi. All Vic has a salvi kid. Yeah, he's yeah. here right now. Yeah, he's salvi over there with no shoes. Yeah, he literally. Okay, it's not a salvi thing, dog. Yes, it is. But I have a no shoe story that I want to share. <laughs> okay. okay. It happened last it's night. Definitely a salvi thing. <laughs> okay, so we went to San Diego yesterday. What the fuck? I know. Jorge. Ballin. No, no, no. We, I had a thing no. for work. I went to the K. WSS on 7th Street. Yeah. Um. How was that? Which one? The one down cool. the street from here? It's the one, me and Angie, we've been there before. It's on it's on 7th Street. The yeah. big-ass one. It, it's oh, a, I know it's a big-ass one. If, if it has two floors. It's a building. It has two floors. Yeah, yeah it has two yeah. floors. The building looks old, but when you walk yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah, okay, okay, so we went there. It's funny because Denner hit me for that. Like, which one is it at? And it's like, oh, shit, if that's that, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> but we did the, like, a thing with, um, what's his face? With Bueller. With Bueller. Walker Bueller. Shout out Dodgers. Bueller. One of yeah. my favorite pictures. Um, and then I came home, and Jorge wanted to take the boys to San Diego. And I was like, damn, okay, I got I to gotta get ready for work tomorrow. But it's fine. Uh, we went down to San Diego. We came back, like, around 9. So by the time we got home, it was, like, close to midnight. The boys are asleep. Jorge takes Jorjito inside. And so I'm like, okay, I'll take Luisito. Because Luisito is very attached to me. If he wakes up and it's not, he's going to throw a fit. But in the car, I had already taken off my shoes. Because it was a long drive. I took a nap on the way. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to drop off all my stuff inside, get the bed ready, then come outside and get Luisito. Right? So by the time I bring him in, he's already knocked out and he just goes to sleep. I had left my door open, the passenger door open. And then, so I'm walking out, there's the scal- descalza. No socks either. No, no socks, socks, socks. Yes, socks, socks. So I go and I do this to close the door. I'll go like that, right? And then I hear, and I was like, oh shit. One, it sounded like the tire was popping. Two, I'm like, oh damn, is that an animal? Damn, I'm descal- del scal- I can't say the word. For descalza. I'm barefoot. Descalza. And then I have Luisito in the car. So my fight or flight is check- kicking in. I would run inside because there's no way I can fend off a little whatever attacking me, right? Oh, like, oh, like, it could like be, it could have been a snake. Mm-hmm. It could, I thought it was a skunk, but then I'm like, damn, I don't smell anything. I don't know if it, like, if it sprayed me. I yeah. thought like I got sprayed, and so then I'm like, I go over and I get, I open the door to Luisito and I actually jump in the car to get him because if not, then my feet are gonna be in the in the street. Mm-hmm. So whatever just hissed at me can like fucking tear my legs yeah. apart so i get him and i run inside and i go inside and then i spent till 2 a.m trying to figure out what the hiss was because i thought it was a skunk but then skunks don't hiss like that no it was a possum uh, it was a possum i found it out like after i'm like so, searching all the different so animals that hiss. if we looked up different hisses on different hisses on YouTube. and it's crazy because the, the the way the possum hiss is the exact same hiss and now i'm like damn i have a possum problem look i'm gonna show it to you because it's like a slow one it almost sounds like eggs cooking it was like that uh, shit did like that, that shit to me it looked in my soul and that's when i took it out they've gotten they've gotten they've hissed at you yeah remember i told you how i guys i, I killed the possum oh yeah my bare yeah. hands for you ever know one of my biggest fears, i think i've said it before opening the trash can and raccoons come out <laughs> oh my god i'm crying <laughs> just, okay. just, no, just listen, no listen it sounded like this i need a better angle oh. It sounded exactly yeah. like that. Isn't that crazy? Uh, it yeah. kind of sounds like a like a eggs. Yeah, sizzling. So when I hit the when I hit the the door, it made that noise, and I was like, "Damn, did I did I am, am I like that strong that the tire popped or I thought like air was coming up?" Then I'm like, "Oh shit, it's an animal." Wait, so you stayed in the car for another two hours? <laughs> no, no, no. She no, I jumped the, on the car she inside the you, car to get him out, out, and, and then, then I just like ran for it. Ran. Oh, okay, okay. But initially, I was like, "Fight or flight." Like get back in the yeah, in yeah. the in the house, but I couldn't. My freaking baby's in the car. Yeah. So it, it was a lot. Fuck it. That's crazy. If I'm not mistaken, the homie Georgie's grandpa got bit by a rat in his toe. A rat? A rat bit him before in his toe. Oh, no. 
Oh, and I was like, that's like, that's like one of my biggest fears. Rata like, or like, <laughs> Facts. Rata de un papa. or like, or like, or like, I, last time I was watching Fear Factor and I was like, oh my God. I like, I was watching like that clips off YouTube and I was like, dude, imagine for a million dollars they were to tell me just to like let a bunch of rats be on me. I would cry. Uh, ah! But you would do it. Fear Factor was on some nut shit. Yeah. Fuck no, bro. I'm, 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 I'm like generally have like the biggest fear of, of rats, bro. Like I'm a bitch, fool. Like I'm, like I'm a bitch. Like, just Wait. isolate that part. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for no cab. Like, if a rat's already dead, even on the trap, I'm still not touching yeah, it. Yeah, same. Yeah, like, it's, I'm, I'm a bitch. But yeah, I'm like the biggest bitch about, uh, yeah. about rats. I'm like <laughs> like the biggest weenie. Like, it's like, I'm like... This I'm a, is the tease for the episode, okay? You're all listening to it right now, but it's just him being like, I'm the biggest bitch. <laughs> da, da, da. But don't say for what. Find out for what on episode 57. You know what we should do? You know what we should, that should be the title. Do no say I'm a bitch. Yeah. Or do no's a bitch. Because, <laughs> bro, I'm generally... Do no admits I'm, to being a bitch. bitch. <laughs> I'm generally frightened by them, fool. Like, yeah. for real. Like, it, like, phobia? Rat phobia? Dude. So um and rats and snitches huh fuck them yeah fuck them all fuck them but yeah it's like it's like I have like this thing you know you know what cheers me out how people are scared of bugs what do you mean That's I hate scary, bugs bro. Those bugs are dumbass gross. over there I grabbed the bug you know I'm a piece of shit so I was like hello it's coming I'm like shout to, like, out his a uh, baby girl dumbass <laughs> baby girl shout out dumbass dumbass with love okay I don't know how but I get you what's up dumbass <laughs> give me a kiss dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> hey dumbass, when I eat some food, hey dumbass, what you do? That's today? like the, the passive aggressive yeah. shit when you guys like haven't talked about something, but you're still angry, but you still miss each other. Yeah, yeah. Dumbass. Shit, his love language is up. like dumbass. Yeah. yeah, what's your love language? Oh, we had this conversation yeah. before. Yeah, I like how you always want to know. <laughs> I know, but yeah, definitely. Your love language is like just maltreatment. <laughs> That's how you know someone. That's loves valid. You. That's yeah. valid. I like cuddling. Okay, but bugs. Dumbass was afraid of the bugs. Yeah, dumbass was afraid of the bug, but she's like, cut it! And I'm like, fuck, you gotta do is smash it with your feet. Yeah. You know what and I wanna do She now? was like, so I crabbed it with like a little scoop. Like, you know, she had like newspapers, so I scooped it, and I was just chasing her around her house, but her house is small. And she's like, oh! She's like, <laughs> so she had nowhere really to go. She studio. <laughs> like, she's like, like, she, Letty has a big ass yeah. house, so like, yeah. if Letty were to grab a rat and like chase me with it, I have space to run. Yeah. This dumbass gotta go through like hella boxes Leave and like, her alone. And, like chairs. And anyway, she was running, she boxes tripped over the chairs. corner of her bed. <laughs> Oh, and I was like, I like me being a culero. I was like, a part of me really wanted to just throw it at her, but then a part of me was like, nah, it's kind of fucked up. Because what if somebody threw it right at me? Yeah, what do you think it is about you that you are like that? Because the homies used to treat me like shit when I was younger. Like yeah, my but older this is homies, your girl. This is like, not your homie. Girls, girls, a strong word, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. No, but she's yeah. been here for the past year. I've seen her freaking every day for the past year. This no, is your you girl. have not. Yes, I have. That's Defi cap. Uh, that's a defined girl. Like, defined what? girl. <laughs> what does girl mean? <laughs> we but, have the one that makes you their girl in two days, and we have the one that's like you could be around for two years and like, you're not the girl. Being with the owner. <laughs> I was at the fight next to Vic and Josh. <laughs> and I was saying. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, there's that part. I don't know where we went That's with it, but no, bugs scare me. I hate mosquitoes. I, they're the worst thing that ever existed. So what's the word for that? Like, what's the phobia? Word? No, 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 no. No, there's like a phobia for like bugs. Yeah, I'm sure there is. What's it called? There's like a word. I know there's like a, a like a fucking spider one. Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia. The homie definitely has I wanna that. Go. Okay, since you have you want to go to arachnophobia? No, I want to <laughs> go to Australia. Why? They have the biggest with you guys. Cause they have humongous insects, bugs, and like animals, like and way iggies. bigger, like humongous, fucking like a huge spider yeah. that will crawl across this. Like let these definitely not go to Australia I'm no not more. Going. He You're wants to go to Australia to see if there's more Iggy Azaleas out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like everything's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he wants to go do PR for weak artists. <laughs> What? No, let's. Why are we talking <laughs> shit today? <laughs> hey, nah, nah, you know what's one of my goals? What? Getting down with a kangaroo. <laughs> I want to squabble with a kangaroo. Goals? That's what I'm saying. We should. One of my goals Brown is being a millionaire. Brownback takes Australia. <laughs> Brownback takes Australia. Is there anybody, if there's even one person in Australia that, that listens, listens to, to us, us let send us me know. A video Hello, you mate. It's perfect. Shrimp on the bobby. Let us know if there's Latinos in Australia because there's definitely Latinos in the UK. I saw this video on TikTok and as soon as I saw it, I sent it in the chat. Like, uh, we have to talk about this fool. I think I know what you're talking about. He's like in his kitchen. He's in his kitchen. Well, yeah, it's yeah. his house. Okay, it's essentially yeah. your, your house over there. 
Like, it's your crib in the, the UK. Dude, in the UK. London. Yeah, yeah, can we watch it? And so this guy is British, so he has a British accent, but he's also a Latino. British Mexican? No, yeah, it's funny. Yeah. And, and it's funny because he tries to explain the difference. And it's just crazy how he switched. It just, it feels like trippy. Yo, what's it like to be Latino with a British accent? <laughs> yeah. In other parts of the world, it's a mazzoline. So my people, my name is Patrick Vo, and I came here to let you know the power of having a British accent and being Latino. Honestamente es una cosa muy maravillosa because when you flip it, yeah, from That's Espanol crazy. back to the English thing, people are like, yo, ¿qué está pasando? And you just, and you just gotta let them know, like, yo, there's levels to this. La son de aquí es diferente, and you already know, man, we're coming with that. Hey, una araña. Peter Parker had to be handled. But anyways, back to the topic, you know. When you come out here to the UK and it's sunny days, it's okay. Casi nunca sale el sol. It's different, my friend. All I gotta say is when you're bilingual from this part of the world in other parts of the world, you become a problem. You get me? And then you come across a he lot of people that are uh, problem solvers. Easy to mingle, man. This you get what I'm saying? UK's very easy to mingle, man. It's very easy to mingle. I've been told if you got a British accent and you flip it back to the Spanish thing, I see like como, como que nada. You got a little superpower there. I guess I can be your hero, baby. Joking. Okay, that's... I don't know what his name is, but it trips me dope. out. It almost feels unreal. Yeah. That you can How have a British happen? accent and then switch it to Spanish. I want yeah. him to talk more Spanish because I want to hear the British accent is in Spanish. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I totally understand that. Yeah. My mom said that she knew somebody that came from, from Asia and was raised in El DF. I think I, I see a lot of and Asians then, and in Mexico. And they know, they yeah. look, well, they're Asian. They look, yeah, they're, they're Asian, look, they're Asian, but they speak but Spanish. But they fucking speak Perfect. better Spanish, yeah. Spanish yeah. than me, but they also speak their, I mean, their home language. Yeah. I mean, it's language. not that far-fetched because people would say that we, us three, have an American accent when we speak English. We right? definitely, no, Spanish. No, yeah, an but American we're like, closer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then also the UK is right next to Spain. Look at us being simple minded. Yeah. He's probably Spaniard, but he looks Mexican. No, he, he legit could, looks like Duno in another know. multiverse or yes. whatever. Skinnier. Like this is when Duno does his like oh when she calls and you're what do you mean? Like it's you know how Duno's yeah, on yeah, yeah. his phone? I definitely th my it's thing that. is yeah, my thing is like how do his parents get from fuck let's say he's Mexican. To me it's not Ecuador. Oh, Ecuadorian, so uh, South America. Okay, That's so how did his parents get from Ecuador to the UK? Yeah, damn. Like, Cruzando el Rio? Nah, that's a big ass real dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause, cause if you really think about it, TJ is only two hours away from here. Yeah. yeah. Somebody could literally, if, if, if in a perfect world, somebody could literally just walk yeah. into the United States. Yeah. I don't think you could go, I don't think you could walk from Ecuador yeah. to, you gotta, you well, gotta he take even, a boat. He even has a TikTok where he's in, I think it's Cambridge, it's in one of the places out mm -hmm. there, and there's a marqueta, like a Mexican marqueta. What? That, that's where you could get like Valentina and Tajin, but it's stuff that, it's like a little shop, and he goes and he like previews it, and it's like, you could see the prices on it, like that it's like seven pounds or whatever. Uh. But it trips me out that it's even there, like a little, like, hey, here's a taste of home out there that makes me want to go out there that's pretty fire Which is wild. honestly i would cry if i had to live in the uk oh same i would fuck bro i'm like like i like tacos i like like they're i like just, seasoning yeah <laughs> yeah out there there's like no see have we, you been it's yeah Oh, I forgot I was too much money, pal. Yeah. Too much money. And just for the record, Jorge did not need to pay for any of it because hey. it was before Jorge. <laughs> J. Cole paid for it though. Hey. Because we went, it was when we went on the 2014. Hey, real quick, real tour. quick. Did you see a lot of the TikTok comments? Uh, all of them. They're on my side though. Yeah, they're but everybody's like everybody's they're like, tripping out. They're like roommates. Yeah, <laughs> Letty finding out she has a roommate. I told Jorge that too. That shit was fun. No, yeah. but there was like some stupid ones like Oh, yeah, I would never. It's like, bitch, yeah, yes, you bitch, did, you and yes, you have, Facts. and yes, you will. Like, and then <laughs> come it's on, just let's different be real. tax brackets. Like, well, I think even, too, with Jorge, people need to understand he doesn't have, like, a like a nine-to-five job yeah, or a nine-to-five career or whatever. Like, he's a hustler. Yeah. It's easy not to know what he makes when he deals in that sense of He might not know what he You know makes. what I'm saying? That's what, that's what I was trying to explain. Somebody asked me, like... How do you... I no, don't know. No, yeah, and I'm like, fool, our job, like, I could get booked tomorrow to host mm -hmm. fucking... Yeah, our the, not the stuff is like, yeah. hey, I get twelve an hour. What do you get? Like, yeah, it's not no. like that. Yeah. Which, which is cool if you work that, you know, because some people we everybody no, no, I know, but players. ours is not. Yeah, but ours literally like I could have a shitty month this month, yeah, mm -hmm. and it could be a and, and it could be a slow month, yeah. and the next month I could make who knows I could probably make a million dollars. Mm -hmm. So it just really just depends. But yeah, the comments, but a lot of girls were definitely oh, like. Geez. Oh my but God, do not think as girls, they'll be perfect as I love you guys bitches. as fucking supportive <laughs> homegirls, dog. That's too bitch. That's the, <laughs> the way that you guys turned it on is the support we all need. That's the support we're all looking for, right? Yes. 
Exactly. Yeah, support Talk we all about need. it. But it's definitely yeah. yeah that's but I I was telling I was speaking about them. I was like. Bro, that TikTok was so fucking funny. It was and, funny. And shit, we're almost at a million views on it. Jorge so. loved Facts. it, too. Yeah. He's, he's Bro, his, comment, his comment, his comment yeah. was perfect. I know. Because to <laughs> him, he's timing. now like a little man hero. Yeah. Of like, yeah, make a pay ass. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah, bro, there were definitely... Actually, you know how he is. Like, yeah. it's, he's definitely going to feel it. Milk, this he's going to milk shit. it. Yeah. Yeah. There were definitely guys like, that's right, true yeah, king. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. boy. That's right, yeah. You're my idol, Jorge. Like, You want to be independent, huh? Shut up. Bro, I see some crazy ones, too, though. Like, you guys want equal rights right I was like yeah. dude oh, yeah. it's a fucking joke shit like, <laughs> but it was valid that shit was funny as fuck that shit either way me. the the most important thing was that like it started a conversation mm-hmm. and a debate and like and I know a lot of people are things. now talking to their like and, and it was cool for the best thing for me is when people are like that's like the conversations I have with my man or like mm-hmm. that's you sound like my wife right now yeah because that really just shows me okay it's not just us because low-key if it was just us I'd be really scared and yeah you guys probably right probably is cheating probably does have a side family he probably does want to divorce all of that he is plying <laughs> nah nah but the side like like the conversation started like dope like I was seeing like there was a comment that had like a hundred comments mm. oh, but I was shit. like oh like, like people were just or no or like comments. so like listen, you come yeah. like there was just people going back and forth yeah. But a hey, woman are for fucking debaters, dog. Oh, they, yeah. They were, <laughs> there's one thing we could do is argue, dog. Yeah, yeah. Especially and we other can Latinas. You. Other Latinas were like, yeah, that's my bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't even know that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I shit, love it, though. Yeah, that shit was I love amazing. It. I love shit like that. Like, those yeah. conversations are the funniest. Um, But yeah, shout out to Jorge. It's, but even now, anything I post, like I posted at the at the fight. Yeah. Did you have to pay for your ticket? <laughs> like, I know that's gonna follow us. Yeah, yeah that's dope though. Cause imagine like like, I already know at the live, so that's gonna be one of the questions. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be sponsored by Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> He's gonna pay for it. That was sponsors. funny though. Good but time. yeah, man, shout out to shout out the Mexicans in the UK or any Latino yeah. in the UK. Yeah, anywhere Sucks, in the UK. Uh, we wanna like shout out that guy. I think his name was something Vel or Vel Music or whatever. Patrick Vel. Patrick Bell, I just want to hear him talk more Spanish. And I'm sorry, but it just feels unreal to me. We're not used to it at all. Yeah, at all. My yeah. brain is not. So imagine an Aussie yeah. Hispanic. That'd be crazy. Like, in, what is that, an Australian? Yeah. yeah. Or yes. like, oh my God, imagine like an Irish Mexican. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. I... Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is that guy? You guys just sound New York right now. (laughs) All right, let's move on to uh, Cool or Coolo. That shit is cool. Shout out Bad Bunny. By the time this drops, the All-Star Game would have happened and the Home Run Derby is happening as we kind of are recording, but too bad, man. We record on Mondays. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about the celebrity game that happened on Saturday. Which we weren't a part of, which I'm very upset about. Because yeah. there was a gang yeah, of... Yeah, because there was... Yeah. There was some bullshit on I there. thought about it, and I was like, you guys, we haven't made it yet, but there was a lot of other people that were going to be like... Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but look, shout out Bad Bunny for doing this shit. Bad Bunny, baby. Hey, Bad Bunny literally takes over everywhere he goes. Everywhere. Yeah. Literally, he this, was like the star of the All-Star. He's the star. And it speaks to how bad the marketing problem is in the... MLB that they don't have any of their own stars to market for this weekend. They literally had to get a music star. They're based, but it's a celebrity game. No, he's a star the whole weekend. You literally, it's based. Like, off. who have you heard about? Like any other oh. type of? Look. But what had happened this weekend? Look. I think it's more today and tomorrow. Yeah, no. but I'm saying like still like the fact that he's involved. If I get what you're saying, this I is like Vic, he's he's like headlining damn near. Yeah, I think this is what Vic's trying to say. When you usually okay. Don't get me wrong. There be some bad bitties at at any Dodger game. Mm-hmm. But let's keep it a buck. A lot of Latinas don't really like baseball. They just like the getting drunk in three hours of, not, of turning okay, up. Okay, look. But listen, if you want to say a lot of Latinas, you're going to say a lot of Latinos, too. Yeah, definitely. It's not, that, it's not just the girls. I'm definitely a part of just going yes, to go see the Latinas. That part. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I've never seen yeah. so many. Because usually, like, like all-star games, home run derbies, they're for real, like, baseball fans. Because yeah. they're they're a fan of the all-around sport. Mm-hmm. Right. Or, like, or, like, a lot of kids go to catch the baseball. Yeah. Or, like, very diehard baseball. Ball, just in general fans because but I told you stadium there was a lot of bad bitties there yeah. and they was there for bad bunny and bad bunny only no nah, facts and then but we, we see- can't help that we're fine out here look girls it's not your bad but did you do see that girl that Dude, ran into the hey she's I 
I know she listens to Brownback. I don't she know how. Has. I just know. <laughs> she's I know. a Brownback baddie. She was bad. Yeah. She was bad. And then was it's funny because in the comments, because I guess she had like a nip slip, and everybody's there, like, yeah, bitch, you a bad bitch still. And she's like, Dang. and she embraced her being psycho for Bad Bunny, and I love it. That's a Latina in her. This yeah. is the look. Just so every Brownback baddie knows, this is the energy I want at the live show. Okay, <laughs> rush no. me on stage. Yes, yeah, so Glockiana can have her way with you. Oh, yeah. That might be a problem. Yeah. Who are you taking? Glockiana. Myself. No, to no. the live show, fool. Who's on your guest list? Myself. My my, my family. No, my shut family. up. He's beating my, uh, Who are you taking? Shit, I'm taking all of them, pal. They can all seem to be a star. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. If you, hey, dumbass, if you want to come slap him, I'll slap him for you. Nah, Just say the word. Dumbass is definitely coming. Yeah, of course. Yeah, my, my guest list is full. Just my family. I'm sorry. Nobody can come. That's yeah. about a ticket. You're so cute. I love you guys. It's going to be so fun. Shout yeah. out to Bad Bunny. Let's talk about his outfit, though. Because this is, I'm assuming this is his Dodger outfit period. It's not like all the All-Stars had their own. This was the celebrity The celebrity game, All-Stars had uh, that jersey. Yeah. And so their that team had it Super that looked fire. like this. I really like the jersey. Yeah. But let's I, see what Bad Bunny did with it. Bad Bunny styled it different. With like the he, Oakleys? Mm -hmm. With the baseball shoes, Oakleys? Okay. His Adidas little, like, yep. cookies and cream Oreo vibes. Dog, this was a trendsetter, Pabs. And then he yeah. had the WWE belt that he won legitimately on uh, wrestling. I saw wow. it. He did a froggy splash off the top rope. Uh, the hat, that's the, the mesh hats is, like, what they're using this year, too. He did that. Um, yeah. Is it a Dodger hat? Is it an LA hat? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Or is it? It might be the All Star hat. All Star oh, yeah. hat. Yeah. I wonder if this out this Dodger is this Dodger jersey is available. I'm sure it is somewhere. Is the, is yeah. It, or 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 if you would have gone to the game, they probably only yeah. sell it at the at the at the at the celebrity thing. Yeah. But shout out my buddy for being part of the LA team because I was the other team's jersey. Yeah. So They're, it was like West Coast versus East Coast celebrities. Yeah, that was the East Coast and. I don't want to be rude right. or anything, yeah. but we could have been on the. Could have like been we, on the East Coast team. <laughs> no, <laughs> West Coast team. <laughs> but no, like, but like, come on, like we could have done. Yeah. That could have been us. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, okay, I was like, oh, we're not on there because there's uh, probably like huge celebrities playing. I'm like, come on. Yeah. You know my thing is though. This this is my thing. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but one thing I gotta give to the Clippers is that they're very tapped in with Los Angeles. What do you mean? Like marketing wise. I'm waiting yeah. for you to keep going. Yeah, I'm. I'm Maximo would be so proud. Like, yeah, Maxi no, no, no. Don't get <laughs> me wrong. Like, right now. You feel me? I got Lakers side on everything, but they do tap in with the artists coming up. They do do oh, a lot of like for the halftime show. Yeah, they did like the like design with cartoon. It's right here. Yeah, Lakers. They did like the design with cartoon, and I feel like Dodgers and Lakers should do more of that. Still a huge fan. Still fuck the Clippers. I feel like there's so so <laughs> much of legacy like franchises that they don't need to do the extras. Uh, de definitely, they don't. But I feel like they should because it'll make people would wanna. You know, you feel me? Like, imagine we hosted a Dodger game. That would be sick. No, first pitch. Well, they had they had Sweetie do it, so I mean they're yeah. getting more a little more in tune. Yeah, but yeah, we need to be next for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely to be next. They just gotta see that we bring the crowd. So once this live show comes, yes, and, like it's all about showing and proving. Because we can even be big headed about that. It's like, oh yeah, you guys think, but it's like there's so many other people before us. You know? Yeah, but ain't nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody exactly. Else. Okay. But the fit, I'm gonna say cool. I, I, I felt it was the cool. Fit. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. I'm right gonna there. say cool on everybody else cool on bad bunny because if you really look at the fit when bad bunny's not wearing it that jersey low-key is a little bit weird looking yeah like go to when it's not him <laughs> i think there was yeah like yeah, they dude, do not make like that jersey look fire and that's that's more what like we'd look away. like with the jerseys on <laughs> 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 we will look like that <laughs> nah, 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 i look good in my jersey but Yee! bad bunny kills it and he made it fly so this is one of those things where it looks fly on him, but would it look fly on us, you know? Yeah. Sometimes I, there's certain, like, outfits that I think look bomb on girls, but then I wear them, and I'm like, yeah, fuck. Not yeah. me. You definitely okay. be killing your outfits, though. No, but yeah, there's outfits that I see on other girls yeah. that I'm like, damn, you're killing it. But if I wear the same thing, it's like, oh, no. And let the no cap, I know you're, like, this, the outfit you wore yesterday for when you went with Bueller. So oh, WSS, yeah, yeah. I'm like, let these definitely from Los Angeles. The way she rocked her like, jersey. <laughs> it's like, with it's the like, white tank and like, the shorts. For like thing. super hoochie. But it's like, I'm still repping my team. Yeah. It's in a good way. It's yeah. in a good way. Hey, with the you guys see my mom was dressed like a hoochie? 
Yeah, it's what we do. It's Hoochie Mama for a reason. Because moms ch- love dressing Hoochie. She's trying for papers and shit. <laughs> like the, you, you, why don't you petition for her? I, I could. Yeah, I could, I could. you could have when you turned 18. You're 22. Oh, no, because I, I like the... Oh, the you're bad. To, yeah, because I'm bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but no, no, no. Actually, we didn't do it because she was still legally married to my dad. And my dad is a criminal. Oh, damn. So, you know, so, but now she's it's divorced. hard out here for Masisa. You feel me? So, Masisa getting yeah. through it, though. She living life. She going yeah, up. Yeah, she, she looks fine. She looked fine. But she's learning how to drive. She could drive a little bit now. Wow. Nice. Thank God, because fuck, she's annoying. <laughs> take me here. Take me there. Take me here. Take me there. Like, dude, just go do it yourself. <laughs> but I, I'm on Uber. Be, yeah, yeah I'll go bro, sell, sell. I'll be getting tagged by the Uber. <laughs> pops. I was telling Letty that she asked me for Uber, and she told me, she told me, she yeah. don't even know how to sell, fool. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, right, yeah. I see your little scheme. All of a sudden. Yeah, all of a sudden. You know? <laughs> but yeah, man, shout yeah. out everybody. Shout out all the Latino yeah. parents that are just learning how to drive because you were scared to drive because of how the art crucial our, our world is. How crucial our world is. I mean, shit, they get pulled over, they don't have papers, they I could like get it. a little dangerous. I like uh, it, you're right. You know what I mean? Um, crucial means kind of like important. Oh, I said crucial? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Oh, uh, but bad. cooler, culo. I'll say cool. Bad bunny. Yeah. Cool. You'd wear it? Yeah. Sure. What if we come out at the live show wearing, <laughs> wearing that? Jersey? Come on, fuck it. That'd I'm down. Right. Okay. I, I totally have some sh- shoes to match. I feel that. like even if they don't sell it, we could have someone remake it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, Paisa remake it. Yeah. Oh shit. That should be fire. Yeah. I'm sure they with have the little brown bag logo on the side. I'm sure they have them right now in the Santi Alley. We go right now. Dude, we gotta get the brown bag, the brown bag Dodger jersey done. That should be fire. That would Dude, be fire. um, Dodgers play the Giants. Oh, the, the on Giants. Thursday. Dang. We gotta go. So they have. They, by the time this drops, they played it. Yeah, they, they played, played it. Already. Well, they're Sorry. gonna play a weekend series, I'm sure. So. Oh yeah, weekend oh. series too. So Dodgers get it together. You've been killing. You. Yeah, some mm. Dodgers from whooping the Angels. Yeah. Hold on, Dodgers are sixty and thirty. Oh, yeah, on. ten Damn. games. I think at the All Star game, at the All Star break, ten games above the competition. Yes. Shout out to yeah. Dodgers. thirty games above five, like five hundred. Yeah, yeah. Angels, you guys fucking suck balls. Oh, I feel bad for it. It's not even fun anymore or funny. Like, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like put us a competition, like it's, it's bitch. It's pretty sad. Like, figure it out. Like, it's pretty sad. Like, they're they're yeah. a train wreck. They I have saw the, like this um, best this title of like a thing. It's like just when you think things couldn't go worse for the Angels, they do. They have like, the two best players in baseball, Shohei Otani and Mike Trout, and they can't do shit with them. That's like fuck. If I was like watching great first round picks go to like the Sacramento Kings or like, yeah. wouldn't like that be Pistons. like how the Lakers were last season though? No. Yeah, mm. it's like great players, but it's just not hitting. Yeah. Yeah, but a year before that, we won a ring. Yeah. yeah. They've they never won a, anything. Well, two thousand two, they won a championship. But that's what it. did they win? The <laughs> They won the, the World Series. Yeah, they won the World Series in 2002. But you were two, so it's okay. <laughs> Ain't nobody give a fuck about that 2002. Yeah. Weak ass 2002. Yeah. You were watching Baby Shark. You didn't care. Uh, uh, there wasn't. I was. I was two. Yeah, you were two. Oh, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> now fucking. Ooh, Arthur. Did you guys see? This is no me digas. Did you guys see that they're remaking Winnie the Pooh to be scary? Oh, yeah, I so it's called that. Winnie the Pooh, like <sighs> blood and honey or something, or honey For and blood. Kids? Okay, so I guess the the copyright or the whatever for Winnie the Pooh expired. Oh, so that means that licensing, anybody yeah. licensing, so anybody could use the name, and so they picked it up and they made a horror film about it. It's essentially like. I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but then the head is like Winnie the Pooh. Who oh. did that? You're a piece like of it's shit. crazy. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. Scary. And it. then the guy from the guy from. Can we see? What's the? Cousin? What's the? Yeah, look. See, I'm not tripping. I swear oh. to God, this shit is crazy. That shit is hard. That, you guys, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I'm what telling you, God. that's fucked up for kids. That's though. fucking crazy, dog. Nah, but we, we didn't even like Winnie the Pooh was like such like a. It was like our seventh favorite show. Yeah, like, but he's so cute, dude. Oh, mm, that's gonna no, be so dope. No, no. Oh, I want to watch. That's pig. That's fat shaming. That's piglet. That's fat shaming. No that's way. Piglet? Yes. Oh my god. Pig lot. Look, Damn, fuck. the girl in the hot tub is fine. Oh, oh so yeah. I'm real taking a baddie to watch this for sure. Okay, but um, and then what are the what are the ones that made Get Out? Okay, one of the guys in Get Out, the dude that Jordan Peele. no, the dude that gets the the little T. Oh, uh, the dude that gets the 
right? Uh, um, Daniel Kaluuya. Yeah. So he's going to be in a remake of Barney. And Barney is dark. Like, he's yeah, like, imagine. You know I'm how it's like Barney's like, I love you. It's like, this is a story of what happens when Barney doesn't love you. And it's this, like, oh, this damn. This shit is genius. Dun, dun, dun. This shit is genius. You want to know why? Creepy. It Super is. creepy. It is. But you want to know why? It has to do with kids. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. It's genius. Yeah, it does. No, oh. because... We were kids when yeah. all that shit came out, but how old are we now? We're old right. enough to watch these scary movies, yeah. and we're already familiar with these I characters. Know. So, so, you so wanna, who's gonna tune in? I Us. had bad dreams already of of, Bar of the Barney? real Barney, of Barney the the nice one. She knew. I can't imagine the scary She's one. She's related to Jesus. She knew yeah. what was gonna happen <laughs> in the future. That. I knew it. I hate that I know these powers. <laughs> these powers. My thing is like, is 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 Barney gonna sing while he kills you? Probably. Yes. Okay. Imagine, like. I love you. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, no, it's just like no, piano no, play. No. Yeah, it's just gonna be hard. Come no, on, you guys are no, scaredy cats. No. Nah, fire. you just wanna take bitches to the movie theaters. Yeah, too. What but it's gonna be dope, bro. It's gonna be dope. Big hug. Hell no, stop it. I'm going to you. By the running, I love you. You know what I mean? They're chasing the bunny. For some people, love is a nightmare. Oh, so. you know what would be fire? Damn, I'm like, I'm genius. Look. Selena Gomez was in Oh, the Barney original Barney. As a baby girl. Like, she was really small. Baby Imagine, girl. <laughs> baby girl. Imagine she's, like, in the remake. Dang, that And, like, crazy. grew up and it's, like, part of the story. Okay, well, it did make me think. I need to write shit. What other, like, childhood classics could be scary movies? Because I had a bad dream about Barney, but I also had a bad dream about Genie. Genie scared the fuck out of me from Aladdin oh from Aladdin because he did that one thing where he's like I can't bring people back from the dead and then he looked like zombie kind of vibes uh, and when he did that like I literally had nightmares about that particular scene I was more scared when Will Smith played him <sighs> the live action yeah yeah it's scary what other what other things could be scary Jorge said I think he said the seven dwarfs would be creepy Oh, that would be. Yeah, that would no, definitely. Seven doors. Name some. Everybody name some like. Teletubbies. Teletubbies. I never fucked with Teletubbies oh, for the yeah, record. Ever in my life. I thought they were weird. They were. They what, were else? what else? What else? What else? What are some like kids? Just childhood faves. Like what if the Care Bears, Care Bears didn't care? Care Bears. <laughs> <laughs> what if they didn't give a fuck? <laughs> I don't give a fuck, Bear. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Coco Melon. Coco Melon. Oh, right. Dude, that's too like, new. Coco Melon. What if the grandma from Coco was just oh, like Oh, no, that's Little Vic. Yeah. Oh, I love you, oh. Little Vic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone said, um, like, the toys and the Andy's neighbor's toys oh, in Sid? Toy Story and Sid's toys because oh, they already scary looking. They were scary. Damn. Yeah. Like the, um, that would be... Like I love this. One with like the <laughs> yes, with the spikes. Yep. Yeah, that food yeah. are like hella. They're like silver tooth activities. Super. Talk about nightmares real quick. Did I tell you guys that I had a dream? About me? No, no. I wish that, 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 that I had a dream <laughs> that my mom killed her best friend and then asked me to help her <gasps> fucking hide the body. And you, you helped did. her, <laughs> and I helped her. <laughs> I told my mom this, which, and she was like, "Oh my god!" She like she was like she's like, "Oh my god." Started praying and shit. I was like, dude, chill. It's a dream. Yeah. Do you know her best friend? They've been best friends forever. Well, they're not technically like best friends. Best, I mean, I mean, they're really good friends. But, um, so, so for her name is Jackie. Jackie's oh. daughter is Stacy. Stacy and my sister Erica have been best friends for years. They like ran away together. So my mom and her oh. mom been connected because their daughters are fucking nuts. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh it's my. Like, God. oh, did you find her? Is she at your house? Yeah, oh, she, yeah, yeah. Let's go. So, so that's how close they are. Like my sister and her best friend have each other tatted on their. On their wow. and stuff, like real <gasps> close best friends. Damn, Angie, we're slipping. Well, next, okay. For my birthday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, <laughs> yeah, so they definitely like, <gasps> so, so I told my mom. I'll get in, you, we get LA. LA, we're LA. You, oh, Letty yeah, and well, Angie. She's from the OC though. But it, it's Letty and, Angie. Letty and Angie. I don't care. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put LAD. No, because she... let the Angie do no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be tight. If she had LA tatted on her. Yeah, as an OC be person that wears a lot I of orange. I was wearing Dodgers perfect. at the Angel Stadium. I know. We need to ask her about that. Why were you doing that? But, thank because, you. Because why not? Are you a Dodgers fan? <laughs> I feel like you guys should like take me in now because I did that at. But why OC did you do that? Because I wanted to. No, we're not judging you. We want to be I'm in here. <laughs> I'm, and all of my family, like my cousins, I went with my cousins, with my sisters, mm. Dodger fans. F France, Dodger fans. Listen, listen to me real quick. Listen, Fuck it, where'd you go to elementary? OC. Where'd you go to middle school? OC. Gang, where'd you gang. go to high school? Gang, gang, OC. Dang. Okay, then don't Have fucking... Have some loyalty. Don't wear yeah. shit! <laughs> you were in the Take OC pride in your bullshit too. team. 
Take pride in that team. Vicky, you better not say shit because you got a New York hat on. <laughs> it's a Badger Blue. Badger Blue. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I had that dream. I was told my mom, like, yes, sir, you're a killer. I'm just saying. Dang. And I helped her hide the body wow. at a barbershop. So barbershop. random, right? Wow. That is. So watch if insane. anybody show up at barbershops. Oh, shit. It was me and my sister. <laughs> it was you and my sister. <laughs> now, that would be a dope ass horror movie. Yeah. Me Doesn't and my mom. mom like, my mom's a serial killer. Out? But, uh, but I'm like hella good, but I, I just can't tell her because she's my mom. Yeah, she's your mom. And then you're like, you record your podcast and then you have to go like hide the body after? Yeah. yeah. It's like super They all call me like, I did it again. I'm like, oh. I'm <laughs> How do you get blood out of shoes, by the way? Uh, Ox- what's what's it? You uh, know. Um, so I got these really nice shoes. I needed walking shoes, so I got mm. these really nice Air Those Forces, are nice. Those are nice. right? But then I got a cut on my leg, and then my shoe got. Oh yeah. Scented. Oh, that might be hard. Did you for did you let it sit on there for a little yeah, bit? It's still there. No, no, but it, like like once the blood hit, did you wipe it right away? Yeah, I wiped it. Oh, maybe you should have not wiped it. You know what? This would be a it. perfect time if we had a shoe cleaner sponsor that would demonstrate, yeah, the- send us a package. We can see if we can get this blood stain out. Yes. You know what you got to do? And I know a lot of shoe heads like know like mm-hmm. the things, like yeah. what to do. You know like, what you got to do? Help us out. Did companies. you ever use 408 to clean your shoes? Definitely. 409. 409. Yes. 408. Yeah, 409 for the yes. shoes. I definitely use Javon de los Trastes. Okay. What and about toothpaste? Some I definitely use toothpaste? toothpaste for the toothpaste. vans before. Right. What have you used, Vic? Um... Plenty of things like um, what's that? Uh, baby powder. Baby, baby powder. powder. I haven't yeah, had the baby get, powder. Okay, one. to get it in the. You know how like Air Forces, for example, like you can clean them or whatever with soap, but the um, little um, little holes, the stitching, yeah, is always gonna stay dirty unless you throw some white baby powder on it in between the little creases. Wow, Vic. and then so they get a little bit whiter. Fuck it. For the other, you sote. Zote. Z. Z- the Z was the Zote, yeah. right? I use that for makeup Zote. brushes. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's a makeup pack. Shout out to all my brown bag baddies that use Zote and Jihan. Yeah. Mm. I, I definitely use Zote to it's wash my shit. Cleaner. Zote and a toothbrush. Wow. Yeah. Because you don't want to use a rag. I feel like that would leave it pink a little bit. Um, No, but you like water it down a little bit. But you see, but you never really want to use a rag, especially because you might like, yeah. you might wet this and it stays a little wet. So, you know, the toothbrush what, lets you what get. What about the, have you heard, you remember the magic erasers? They were like specifically for like bands and chucks. Wow, no, no, no. It was like oh. a little white thing that you and, would like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Timberlands. Yeah, it would, it would like, <laughs> it would come out like, yeah, you're, the whole white part of the vans and shit would get like super white. Um, how do you clean chucks or you just let chucks be dirty? Um, chucks, well, white so the chucks? good thing about chucks yeah. is you that you can like throw them in the washer, but they'll kind of get yellow. Yeah, I don't know. It is hard. I fucked up, you guys. The Kendrick ones. Yeah. You, oh. just, remi- you just reminded me that I have them. Oh, look like, at this guy! Look at this guy! And I'm just I'm thinking about. It, I'm like, oh, I've kept them clean. I wore them to Rose Bowl for Fourth of July. Mm. Mm. All right, Pete. Then you must not care about Kendrick. All right, Pete. I, but to me, I just don't have that since I'm not, I'm a new shoe head. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't have that attachment to them that I have to walk a certain way or whatever. Mm. To me, it's like I got them. They're, I want to show them off. I, um, I'm not but like they're that dirty and I need to clean them because I would like to wear them again. I can't wear them right now again. See, the bad thing about all white shoes that if you don't use the right shit, they're going to turn yellow. Yeah. You guys, chlorine, Clorox is not a way to clean your shoes. Mm. I want to put that out there right now. Do not clean with Clorox. Do not clean with Clorox. That shit is crazy. It'll turn yellow. But you know, definitely, you feel me? Yeah, you. St- I gotta I think figure it out. Maybe good. I take it to a shoe cleaner. Or but something. Chuck's, yeah. But I, but I ain't gonna lie. My mom used to clean my. like cloth. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I, if I ain't gonna lie, my mom used to clean my sister's white chucks. Fly like uh-huh. she used to like do a good job. I always had like the fucking the black chucks. Mm. Like like mm. like, like, like yeah, the original ones. Yeah. Every time I get my shoes like really dirty, I ignore them for like two months. I'm yeah, like, because you don't even want. I don't even want to look at them. I'm like, it's Grr. like. It's like it bugs me so much, mm-hmm. and I'll just leave them there. And then, like, two months later, I'll be like, oh, I forgot about these. All right, time to clean them. Like, I'm over it mentally. Yeah. Like, it's okay. Like, they're not going to be, like, how they used to be. Because low they, that can give enough. you anxiety. You're right. Like, ugh, I don't even want to look at it. Yeah. You see, but you can't do that because then the dirt is... Yeah. Stains more, so you gotta clean them mm. as soon as you can. It, it, sh- shit, it might wrong. hurt. We know we're wrong. I'm just yeah. saying, it's something that I had to learn the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> there were some shoes I really fucked with, and they were just a little dirty. Mm-hmm. And then I cleaned them like two months after, and yeah. it, it, I was sitting there Couldn't for like, yeah. I was like, dude, my mom's like, I told you to clean them right so away. So you should like give the yeah, give the shoe attention right away. Yeah. So maybe just treat girls like shoes. Like give them mm. attention. Don't put them away for two months because then it'll get dirty. even if they're a little dirty. <laughs> just get a little wiped out. Especially poppers and beers dirty. Yeah. <laughs> 
We're talking about being at events and getting things dirty. <laughs> Edgar Report, yeah, Edgar dude. Report. Out of it, pivot, pivot. For you, for you know who definitely doesn't care about their shoes, the Edgars. The Edgars, okay. That part. In Edgar news, Facts. Knott's Berry Farm was shut down shut last down. week due to an influx of fighting Edgars. Yeah. Do you think it is Edgars? It was a lot of Edgars. Why do you think that? Like I, we know they were Hispanics. It was. It was mixed. It. It, was it was mixed. mixed. It was mixed. Okay. okay. It was. It, it turned into like a full on brawl. Oh. But damn. the thing is, like, so. If, Are you there, Josh? If not, his little brother was there, of course. <laughs> so if if Knotts was like a country, right? The majority yeah. would be Edgars. There's definitely so, yeah. so you got to think There's they were involved there, some right. way somehow, and they're there every weekend. They all have season passes. Food, them so food. So it's been going up. We've heard that there's like a lot of fights and people are like oh it's getting ghetto because you know there's a lot of fights and stuff ghetto. and this shit just turned into like they, oh no they there's the park, video so many videos they close apart i three didn't hours know early. there was video you guys i just saw the reports no it was bad Damn. yeah and they reopened knots but they're probably gonna judge everyone that comes in now yeah like you're probably gonna you it's got, gonna be look, like a club like edgar's, you can't wear certain things edgar's you look cover yeah. your ed cover your edgar cut not with the fitted hat. Yeah. Wear a snapback. It's a little more incognito because the the fitted hats are a little burnt out now by you guys. Yeah, I seen I seen the I seen the fade. There was a couple fades, you know what I mean? There was like there was there was multiple videos of this. Yeah. And I was just like, wow. I seen people getting stomped out. But you know what what's the fuck most fucked up part? I mean it's teens fighting with teens, but like right. just to see like teens getting like whooped their ass Damn. whooped like it's not really fun to watch like no. literally some kid was getting the shit beat out of him and he gets By up and he's like yeah he gets up and he's like four foot three and he's like Ooh. like oh, and you're just like baby. damn yeah, yeah so you do feel bad They're like, like 13 14 look, look, you know a part of me is like damn that must be fun when you're young you're just squabbling with all your homies yeah, but another yeah. part of me is like you are like like Knott's Berry farm is also a family place you guys. Yeah, yeah there was a lot of like, kids in attendance but but like but uh but I don't want to be a hypocrite because I definitely fought maybe where I should have not fought yeah. a couple times. <laughs> where have you? Which theme park have you fought at the most? I've never fought at a theme park because I, I was always so raised. Six Flags Universal. The, no, actually, ooh, actually, See, hold up, they're all theme parks. no, no, no. At um, <laughs> at for Grand Night, I was with all the homies deep, and there was other fools that were hella deep. But we just walked by. We were on some cool shit though. We're at the where? game at at Six Flags. Okay. So it was like late at night, you know what I mean? Mm. You feel like I did that with the tone like Roddy Rich. Late did, at night. Yeah. But I was literally passing by and they were just like he's like, was that F on your leg? And I was like, you right boy. He's like, yeah. And then we're like from whole different other cities. Yeah. They're from like buff fuck, I don't even know the city and I'm from and he's like, oh all right, my boy just you fool me. Like we're like we're like at the same age. But it was hella respectful but it but it could have gone real bad. Right. But yeah, but I definitely but it never got oh I mean I guess I felt like in front of a Buffalo Wild Wings. No, that's not a theme park. That didn't happen. You were never there. That didn't happen. How about like yeah. a Raging Waters or like a... <laughs> I don't know about fighting about... What about a bear? Because what if somebody water. just slaps on my back while being shirtless uh. at Raging Waters? That's going to hurt real bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I've definitely never fought like at a fair and stuff like that. Because, you know, like, I, I'm, you're also aware, like, people with kids, you know, there's probably parents yeah. walking by with their newborn and strollers. Yeah. And you never want to be that person that accidentally, like, tips over, like, a two-year-old and shit. Like, you know, it's, it's not cool. So, Ed Grace, if you guys want to squabble, I mean, I would suggest don't squabble. Yeah. But if you are going to squabble, at least run the one-on-ones. Run the one-on-ones Wait till, yeah, wait till you get across the street to the McDonald's, dog. Like, oh, there's McDonald's a McDonald's there? there? Yeah, it's like right across the street. Or go, go fight at Medieval Times or something, bro. Oh, like, I want to go to Medieval Times. We should do a brown bag outing to Medieval Times. Really? What is that? Yeah. The food is gross, though. But you can eat it salvi with your hands. I know, but <laughs> they, they be serving utensils. cold soup. Medieval mm, Times. It's so gross. It's like they take you back go, in though. time. Like to medieval Here, times. Is it Santa Ana? No, yeah, it's Buena right Park. by it's, yeah. Buena Park. It's right cool beats, oh, bro. You like it's it. on, it's, it's on like beach. knights and yeah. horses, and then they give you like chicken legs and. Mm -hmm. I've never been to knots. <gasps> really? Oh, Brown okay. bag outing. Yeah. Knots. No, nah, I'm not really no fucking take, squabbling little Edgar. Take a shot every time you see Edgar when we go to knots. So we're gonna fucking walk out fighting the Edgar. They'll <laughs> squabble <laughs> in line to take a photo with you. Oh yeah, that yeah. would happen. I don't know. I don't know how I would feel like if I met. Like like photo with the with the Edgars and then they just realize that they're enemies and they start squabbling <laughs> yeah. each other. Like, do I ref the fight or do I stop it? Yeah. Do you do you guys have a spot 
like a fight spot for your schools? Like ours was a Jack in the Box. Oh yeah, definitely. I do. We definitely the park behind the Jack in the Box. We definitely had a spot. My school was low key. It was big, so like the PE area, mm -hmm. there was definitely squabbles right there. But there was like there was like some down the hill spot where we, where we yeah. used to squabble, or the or there was like a little dead end that people would get the fades out the way. Damn. In middle school, um, we would go to behind the Little Caesars. That was the thing, like. Oh, you talking shit? Meet me behind, behind those Caesars. Caesars. And then after that, in high school, it was um, meet me at Big Lots. It was like, Dang. there was a, a Big Lots right Ooh, that's there. That's valid. And then there was like, a, for some reason, it was literally like, like made to fight. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it was just like an empty <laughs> area of like, you know where people like load in like the boxes and right. shit, like the back door of the mm -hmm. stores? For some reason, it was just like the wide open dock. right there. Yeah. And then and it was by the tracks train tracks. To bring so there was like access where like, if you drive by, you can't see what's going on, oh. but you can also escape from the back way. Imagine and being right an adult that works at like these fucking kids, always oh. fucking your fighting. You yeah. don't yeah. know a crazy story? There's a middle school in my area. It's, it's, I mean, it's f for a little more towards like Silver Lake, East Hollywood, Hollywood area, but it's called um, King. It's called King Middle School. And while growing up, for around my age, I probably already stopped. But like my sister's era and like the homies older than me's era, yeah. they had an alley called the Bloody Alley. Oh, and that's no. where the squabbles happen, and and there used to be a lot of back in the day. There used to be a lot of tension between Armenians and 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 fucking Latinos because yeah. of that area. So there used to be a lot of fights, but also Latinos would squabble each other. But Damn. that an alley called the bloody alley, and that was like their thing. Like everybody down at the bloody alley. Everybody, everybody like, comment Dude. their fight spot at their school. Yeah, tell we me wanna, your fight spot. So was yours at. was at the Jack in the at Box. At the Jack in the Box, or like at the a lot of parks get it because there's a lot of parks by oh, schools. Yeah. Mm. They just go fight at the park. Damn, so people are like, meet me at the Jack in the Crack. Yeah, Jack in the Crack. Yeah. Get it yeah. cracking at the. Jack Crack. Oh, real quick, we saw Oscar de la Hoya at the, at the fight, and bro, we had a fucking <laughs> field day with jokes. Yeah, oh, I wish I was sitting with you guys. That show was funny. How's Oscar, the video? Oscar de la Co. Yeah, you need to show me the video. Oscar super prendida, boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, also look at this. Um, so the USPS is bringing mariachi stamps to their collection, diseñado por Rafael Lopez. Um, that? <laughs> Look how cool It's to get all of our abuelitas and our moms To use stamps again Wow that right? is fire Isn't that cool? That's, this is very dope by the way yeah. I like yeah. these And this is like And that's dope they have the woman one Which yeah. is fire mm -hmm. like, There's an all woman mariachi Oh that, that's pretty dope Yeah we use It was really cool I forgot their names though is, Fuck is there a different word for a woman that do mariachi singing? Oh it's just mariachi I don't know mariachi. I don't know no, I just know they're like Maria Chichis. Maria Chichis. I found out a couple of them. Maria Chichis. That was dope. That was dope. Maria con Chichis. Maria Chichis. Maria Chichis. Hey, what's a saying that you heard that? <laughs> that was that was like one of the. Top tier. Yeah. yeah. That was definitely Put in my highlight reel. For sure. Put in my highlight reel. What's like a saying that you never understood until you got older? First, I got older, I never understood um, for cual de los quieres que me chupe. Oh, what is that? What you guys never heard that saying before? No. Like, my mom, like, like let's say, I'd be like, no, mom, I didn't get drunk yesterday. She'll be like, oh, yeah, ¿cuál de lo quieres que me chupe? <laughs> like, oh. I'm a sucker? Like, you think I'm a like, sucker? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, like, ¿cuál de lo quieres que me chupe? So I was like, what <laughs> she was trying to lie to me about going out. And I was like, ¿cuál de lo quieres que me chupe? She's like, <gasps> she was like, surprised. Like, she's like, yeah, I'm proud of you. But <laughs> yeah. she's like, ¿cuál de lo quieres right. que me chupe? That's funny. Right. I feel like there's a lot of sayings. No, I, it's not coming to mind, but but I think that's a great one. Yeah, we should we should table that and revisit it because I feel Let's like there's it. so many good ones that mm -hmm. yeah. we just have to like think about it. Now it's time. Sombra sala, sombra sala. So shout out to yeah. the person that said they used to watch Brown Bag and now they just skip ahead to Sombra Sala, and I thought that was Let's pretty go. fire. I, I love it. There's so many cheese muscles, I was like, and I love it. Stupid, it's still us. We still get the views. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> Somebody show you? Yeah, yeah, under you our umbrella, comment? baby. Yeah. Stupid, it's a sacred under brown bag. <laughs> You're not stupid. You're not stupid. Yeah, yeah, no, we love you. You're we a little you. stupid, but it's cool. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> little <laughs> fast forward all you want. <laughs> Super yeah. cheese muscle vibes. And you too. Facts. Yes. yes. Yeah. But for this week, it's my fellow Leo girl. J Lo, J Lo, oh she's not J Lo anymore. You know who she no. is Jaylene. I don't know. No, she's Ooh, J. Ew, no, Jaylene. she's J Flex? she's Jeff. J J A F. Jeff. Jeff Flex, because J Lo is J Lopez. Jeff Flex. Now she's yeah. Affleck. But you know so what? So J A saw? F. She's Jaff. changing her last name. Yes. No. no. Oh no, yeah, she changed her. No, but I'm it's talking like, about the nickname. Like okay, J Lo. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Because okay. I had like a question about that. So we're not gonna be calling her J Lo anymore, right? Because now she's. 
Ms. Jennifer Lynn Affleck. Well, Lynn is her middle name, girl. It's always been Lynn. That's where I was thinking. I'm like, yeah. where the heck is Lynn uh, coming from? Yeah. Did she oh. change her name? She, she just added Affleck. Affleck. Okay, okay. You're a fucking sellout. <laughs> what if she what? used all I'm not her a fan no more. Oh, it's because your Lopez oh, is your last yeah, name. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. She could have been. For, for, been something you J-Lo. can't have J Lo and Chiquis. And Chiquis and Becky G one, and Carol G. Stop being a. Vic, what you say? What? Just because the goalie doesn't mean you can't what? Oh, yeah. That's another word to live by. Uh, Just oh because God. there's a goalie don't mean you can't score. You hurt? Yeah, I don't think Chiquis happy with her man. I don't think J Lo's going to last with this <laughs> guy. Know, Becky really G happy. doesn't. Chiquis looks happy? Chiquis Becky looks G. really happy. Becky G looks really happy. Yeah. J Lo. Jayla's proving us all wrong that you can go back to your ex and be happy after so many years. After so what many, what can years. you give Jayla that Ben Affleck can't give her? True. What's that again? Say it again. What can you give Jayla that Ben cannot? Um, Batman. I'm not gonna die in the next five years. <laughs> He's old, right? He's. N- they're the same age practically. <laughs> oh, yeah. So then Jayla. Um, you don't need to stop by to to buy Viagra with me. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be horny all the time. Fucking, you're gonna come back to your roots. Oh yeah. She's not. He's Mexican. Yeah, she's Puerto Rican. Hispan- Hispan- yeah. But I'm talking about the the for the Latino side of everything. <laughs> she's with a white man. He's conquering her, and I don't like that. <laughs> she's being taken advantage of, and I feel like people need to stop doing that to our women, especially our Latina oh. women. We've been through a lot. Mike. Hold on, somebody's gonna clip this and then yeah. <laughs> make a whole reaction. <laughs> people don't know how to. People don't know how to understand when you're t- taking telling jokes. Yeah, no, but definitely, no, but definitely, I just think they'll all be happier with me. Everyone is just gonna be happy <laughs> with you. You call your girl dumbass. You don't even call her your girl. You think Jayla's gonna want that? She made enough, bro. She was enough. Now he's really thinking that. <laughs> like, no, dog. No. I'm just saying, like, like, okay, Becky G, right? You're, the way you're talking to her is the reason why she would rather be with the white I'm just guy. Saying, like, I'm just saying, Becky G grew up in Inglewood. Did her soccer player guy walk fucking? <laughs> grew up in Inglewood. We, we, we were fucking, we were lame over the, from my life. The ex that probably cheated on her grew up in Inglewood. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, you know what? I just feel like they'll be happier with me. I'm funny, I'm cool, I have a dope podcast, I have yeah, multiple dope do. podcasts. You're you great. You know what I mean? You feel me? Like if they need to go out a press run, I could just hit both of these two up. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. it's Ben Affleck. Who <laughs> he has Batman. Who? He no, was but he has he, he produces. His, he produces. I think his product her, his producer bag is way better than like his actor bag. Yeah, like, yeah so it's about he's the money. behind a lot of shit. Nah, I guess it, so. Yeah, Gone Girl, whatever. You know what? But it's incredible. <laughs> all right, Angie, 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 keep it a buck. Who out of all those girls I mentioned that I'm in love with? Who do you really see me with? <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> apparently Chickies. <laughs> Chickies, you think Chickies is the one for a me? A lot I of think people that would saying, like they like yeah, Chickies because we they only I heard know. us talk about Chickies. No, but you talked about yeah, but we haven't made a fucking could, okay, reel about think, anybody think, else. I could see that happening. Who do you see me with out of all of them? I think Becky G because she's local and more your age. Okay. Mm. Sorry, but no, answer it. Let's Becky G's definitely like me and her will make the dream team. No. Like, well, nobody cares about no soccer player that plays for LA Galaxy. She he, does. He doesn't play for LA Galaxy. Well, he used to. Yeah. Exactly. I don't even know where he went. Would you, you think you would, like, change? You think you would, like, change, like, full anything ba- about full, yourself? Full. If you I'll, give, Becky G? For I'll make Becky G make bangers. For you gotta have some type of she drama. She makes bangers. No, but, like, she's in such, like, a <laughs> pop. Like, she yeah. gets criticized if, like, anything goes wrong. So, like, imagine, like, she's, they're gonna be like, your boyfriend said this and this and this. Oh, you think true. you would have to change? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Girl, come over here. We don't judge on this side, perhaps. <laughs> well, I mean, we do, but... <laughs> but definitely, like, if Becky G pulls up to the black dummy, they're just going to be like, hey, can you sing something real quick? <laughs> like, they're not asking for a picture. They're going to... Hey, but look, shout out J-Lo for going back to her ex. If you're happy, girl, do you. But whenever you're ready to come home, you already know what time it is. You feel me? Send me a fucking email. You feel me? At contactdunagmo.com. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. But look, look, look. I love Duno. Email because I, just the self-esteem of our guys is so high. Like, imagine, like, this is real what he's saying. He like, really you know, no, bro, bro. I, Come I, home to the house that I have with my bro, mom. I definitely think <laughs> where I don't have. Like, bro, like, like, bro. Sleep in a yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. Look, 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 she's older than like my mom. You're mad, like multi million dollar mother. Yeah, but are you really happy in the house? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the house is not hey, a home, probably. She was, yeah, she was you very happy. There's always that meme of like. Hey, look, I'm just saying, they broke up once. It's gonna happen again. Yeah, don't but there's always that meme of like the guy talking shit and then like what his room looks like. It's like the mattress. Hey, you guys, I just want to put it out there. I could definitely live on my own in a very nice <laughs> yeah, apartment yeah, somewhere. You're yeah, you're stacking. Yeah, but people were like hella mad. I'm like, dude, you know how much shit I pay in this fucking apartment? 
And you, know you saw your new car. <laughs> and she got a new yeah. car. I have an yeah, office. I don't give a fuck, honestly. Look, you I'm happy. Know. You know what I mean? But look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think J Lo will be happy with you. With, happy with me. With you. Yeah. Dookies, I mean cheekies. I just think she generally will be happy. Like it's cool. Your she boyfriend takes cool. pictures, but like, girl, I'm way more popping. Yeah. If you're with J Lo, you'd be D Lo. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm just and, and you'd be on the down low. I, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> and look, 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 look. J Lo could kick it with my mom. They're like around the same age. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they could kick it. You're not making a great case for yourself, You feel me? Go to the... T -t 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 like, I'm just saying. <laughs> what the fuck is he going to go listen to Party in the USA with Badley's mom or whatever the fuck? Ben Ashley. Ben Ashley, whatever the fuck his name is. You don't give a fuck about Batman. Oh you ain't never made a skit about domestic violence, bitch. Oh, my God. I'm not J-Lo, her husband. J-Lo made enough, that You think she's going to fuck with you? I'm just saying, I just think she'll be happy here. She wouldn't have to change her life. Okay, so... CNR. Who? J Lo, Cheekies, and Becky G. Okay. I, fuck, I but this, is, this is, is Fuck oh Mary Kill. This is Fuck Mary Kill. Oh, Let's yeah. switch it back again? to the this original. The real one. Fuck Mary Kill. J Lo, Becky G, and Cheekies. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's nervous. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, can I turn on comedian mode? Do you, do baby? Me? Do you? Yeah. Okay, do you, okay, okay. Because they're going to be happy with you no matter what. Any of them. All of them, right? Bad. J Lo's older, so she's probably gonna die soon. So what? So she what is that? Kill. <laughs> Damn, J Lo, I'm so happy you're with Ben. No, no, I'm, no, I'm, but you gotta look at it the opposite way. Like this is your maybe your last chance before she's gone forever. You gotta, you know, you consider she's that. She's killing J Lo. Okay, who are you fucking? Who you marry? <laughs> exactly. Who are you fucking? Actually. Who are you marrying? J Lo's the more rich out of all three. J Lo's yeah. the more rich one. Yeah. Okay, sure. so yeah. all right, so can we go through tax brackets real quick? Just real quick, just real quick. So. <laughs> oh, so it all depends on the on the bag. Definitely, if they're dating only fucking superstars. Yeah. So fuck love is just about. Love. That's why you guys were trying to point them with me. They're like J Lo's done enough. She doesn't need you. No, you know? not that she doesn't need you. She's the, you know what enough is about domestic violence, and you're clowning it. She like that's what There's that shit is for. Enough. No, I'm, I'm just saying I've. Oh, I've, not like she made enough money. I mean, like she made the movie called Enough. Oh yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm I just want to say I'm you a got great, it right, so I'm a great boy. When I made the domestic violence video, I made it towards women hitting men. But even you calling her dumbass, like you call your girl dumbass, that's and J Lo, that's that's abusive. Well, J Lo only ever dated weenies then because it's super de cariño. Super. You know what I mean? Because like, dude, like a dumbass. If one were to walk in like, hey, little dumbass, hell the fuck no, no. I just think I was raised a little different. Maybe yeah, who knows? I, I don't know. Like, no, I just, it's dumbass. Like, I'm not like fucking dumbass, bitch. It's more like. I get it, though, because you know? that's how I talk with my siblings, too. Like, hey, Wait, now with your man. Hell no. Yeah. Uh -uh. If your man called you dumbass, no, no, Angie. Yeah, you no. would not stand for that. I call no. my women beautiful princesses. Yeah. Just, and Prishesha yeah. and Shikinai. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you also cheat on them and have like five of them. Okay. I don't, yeah. 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 I don't cheat. What's oh. better, not cheating but being called Answer a dumbass? That's a damn or being question, on bro. And not being called a dumbass. <laughs> You're deflecting. I don't know, but you're throwing Lefty, him can, I throw this, can I throw this scenario at you real quick? Do already. Fuck Mary Kill, okay, please. Okay, fuck Mary Kill. Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> okay you're killing J-Lo. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You okay, okay. That. We're keeping it. All right, J-Lo's dying. <laughs> um, Becky G's around my age, so she's probably a little more ratchet, so she's going to be like the fuck, just because, you know, it's like a, it's like the sneakling vibes. Okay. <laughs> and then... um, You're going to marry Cheekies. Damn, yeah, your face had it all. You don't want it. Yeah, I'm not going to be happy there for a long time. I'm not going to be happy there for a long time. <laughs> okay, so what? Well, last week. Last week, you're like, oh, Chicky, they let you be cool. Dude, this, why are guys gonna... fucking oh, like this? Okay. You want the girl of your dreams you saw, until you get her, you and then like, you, you already. You his face when he's like, I'm married? He's like, forever? Like, Chiki? For what? Actually. Last week, you were trying to take her from her man. You were dirty macking on you're this dirty fucking mac in podcast. You're dirty macking and now you can't stand the thought of being with her forever. Yeah, it's because being married with her comes with a lot, fool. <laughs> <laughs> and, You're an and, asshole. And, okay, you know what? Can, can I redo it one more time, please? Okay. <laughs> okay. Just Def, what we do. Okay. Jayla's dead already. Jayla's dead. <laughs> She's <laughs> gone. That's a gone girl you right there. Her. She's never coming back. And that's that. <laughs> well, you guys don't know CPR like me. You don't know CPR. Yes, I, you know CPR. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay that one was for funsies. What's the real one? Oh, what's the real one? Okay. <laughs> Fucking do no. They didn't like that scenario. Okay, yeah. can you guys do it so it can help me a little? No, it's for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, but as real They're friends, they not our like, loves of our okay. lives. Okay, can you tell me what I? Tell me what you would think I would. Tell me what's good. It's this this difficult right now. 
When you got three ba- when you got three baddies in front of you, okay. it's like, all right, oh, fuck. All right, look, if I were to choose for you, I would say, <laughs> I would say Mary J. Lo. She's okay, that's Bizag. Okay, Bizag, yes. And, you know, she's a little older. She's a little more mature. She's, I know it's going to be your first time. It's going to be her eighth time. She can show you. You know, like the way to be married. The more experience, the better. I'm yes. gonna be the young bull. She's That's gonna be the saying. up. I That's feel it, Pop. Okay, I didn't okay, think okay. about it like that. And then, um, I mean, we're not killing Chiki. Okay, all right. <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> that. But, we're, we're fucking her. But 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 Becky G, like you gotta you gotta. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, hey, you look, have to. Like, you that's, have to. I, fucking, that's where I was going with this. This is where I was going to. with this. You I was just going to switch it up a little bit. Look, yeah. I'm definitely going to leave Chiki's on scene. You're ghosting her. Okay. Yeah, I'm ghosting her. Marrying J-Lo and boning Becky G. Oh, my God. And I'm just saying, Becky G, I mean, yeah. That's 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 yeah. but look, but look, but look, I'm also down for Chiki just to be like a once in a month type of thing, you know what I mean? Like, she gets so, crazy because it's better. so crazy, yeah. She deserves so much better than you. Oh, already. you I hope you stay with your man, Chiki. Yeah, Do, please, Chiki, let Dukies not happen ever, please. Nah, no, I was rooting for Dukies, right? No, no, Me no, too. no, 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 <laughs> Look, this is my. If I was you, okay, I would marry Becky G because she still hasn't reached her potential. She's young like you. She's probably the next low key like J Lo status. Whether well, she's it be J Lo's baby, yeah. Uh, whether quick, it be quick, like money making, all of that. Well, yeah, you didn't chose her, and you had like five thousand times. Okay, I would choose her now. Though you made it. <laughs> <laughs> Becky G. I, I may not have a six pack or play soccer. <laughs> But I would definitely make you laugh and we could go get tacos in Inglewood. And I won't be scared and, <laughs> and, I won't, I won't and, and fuck it, I won't make you get out the car. I'll get out of the car myself. I, if I know how to speak Spanish, I mm-hmm. um, also wear LA hats. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have a stupid beard like your boyfriend. <laughs> I don't have athlete's foot. Are you mayor que ella le gusta los mayores? She does? Isn't yeah. that the she song? She made a whole song, song about that. Do you that? know a Becky G yes, song? Yes, I do know okay. Becky G. I am not a mayor. Hey, baby, just know this mind is grown. Not my age. You feel me? I've been through a lot. We can relate. <laughs> Fuck it. When you were dancing in, in, your, in your tour bus and all your homegirls weren't hyping you up, just know I would hype you up. You would have hyped your ass. And at the parties, my sisters would make you twerk and you probably haven't twerked in a long time because people would judge you. Mm. But you know what I mean? I just felt like you should come home. <laughs> She is this home. home. Yeah. Nah, because you feel me? Like, you can have a house, but it's at home. Exactly. Oh, so like, your home is home. I mean, that's how I feel about chickies. I, don't, I just generally don't think she's happy. <laughs> she needs to come You're just trying to make everyone happy. If I grew up in, off the one-on-one, mm-hmm. she grew up maybe towards the valley. We could, it's not too far. I'm, I'm all Uber there. Okay. Just for the record, there's no more dookies happening. After yeah. what's yeah, happened you, you here, you chose up. it's over. It happens. Chose, Sometimes you choose up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes so you Be- choose Becky up. Becky G. Becky G. Oh, she does you, like him. You've never met Becky G. I feel like you should have already. For the day I meet I her, I want him to. Why? Because of this conversation. <laughs> I feel like he's all talk. And if he does meet her, no, I'll like, definitely become a bitch. Like, what's the title of the episode? Do another bitch. Look, I just think, look, generally, look, generally, I don't. I think Cheekies is just too grown for me. But J Lo's not. <laughs> See, but see, but J Lo, see, but J Lo's more activa. J Lo likes that adventure. J Lo's down to go tagging with me, no cap. No, she's not. No, she's no. definitely down to go tagging. Her I lawyers. Feel like, I feel like Chiki's would be more. No. You think Chiki's down to go do Hell some yeah. tagging with me? Okay, then me and Chiki's got to go on a graffiti mission. You know so what? yeah, what Ooh. would your couple name with with Becky G be? Cause there she has. Do next. No, but she has like do fans. Next. Why do Why next? Do next. <laughs> He wants to be Latinx so bad, that's why. <laughs> Not doing next. I don't know. Think of something. Because they're, they're called something, like God. Beckonators or something. Like, her fan base is called oh, something. Yeah. They're called the Beckonators? Something like that, I it swear to God. Can you please Google it? Bullshit. Can you please Google it? That sounds like a fucking Wendy's She does, she does have like, like, a like the Beckonator. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Junior. <laughs> Get your fast food, right? Um, it would be... No, that's actually Wendy's. Duno. Oh, it is Wendy's. Wow. Duno, Duno and Duno's. Becky. Decky G. Sounds way better than Dookie's. <laughs> Decky and Dookie's. What? Yeah, Why are you already shitting on Dookie's so fast? Because Dookie's, when I think of Dookie's, I think of poop. 
like the little dookie. That's why yeah, I know, yeah, but that's why. he that's was why so it's... down a week ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now he can't even stand the thought of being married to We're her. Just, we need to have a segment. Okay. Maybe I'm a Pisces. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm right very complicated. After, Let's not judge me for what I go I'm through. I'm not judging Ma- you. Maybe I'm right after saying, Sombra like, Sala, he does a, a shout out, like a, a pitch to a, a famous, beautiful woman every, every week. A yeah. different proposal. You're a fisherman. You're a fisherman. Just throw it out there sooner or later. And your platform is big enough that they're going to see it. Yeah. My thing is, my thing is, I just. What are they called? Beasters. Beasters, okay. Beasters. Baconators? (laughs) (laughs) Who said Baconators? I did. I know it has to do with her name. (laughs) It would make sense. I get it. Oh, my God. (laughs) Beasters, okay. Okay. (laughs) If I could bring one of them on set and just be like, kick it, like, who would you prefer me to bring? One of who? One of the three? (laughs) One of the three. Cheekies. Hi, Cheekies. We, she used to be more down to talk shit. She, have you seen her in concert? She loves to drink. She yeah. does all that. She's about the... Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. I've seen her. She's With fun. the shooting? No, I'm she's kidding, about... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> about Ooh. the funsies. She's just about the vibes. Okay. Fos cabrona, fos cabrona. Yeah. Okay, but... In a good way. Shout out, uh, congratulations, J Lo. Oh, congrats, J Lo. Yeah, I don't know how this turned into congratulations, J Lo. Congratulations, J Lo. They got married, married in Vegas. Vegas. You know, married in Vegas. Saturday night. If you don't believe it, I thought it was fake, but then it was, it was for real. Too. Made they, sure they I got the yeah, yeah. I got they the eloped. little certificate, the statement, it, 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 all of that. I happened. like their statement. They shouted it out happened. Victorville, California. Why? They were like, oh, the couple behind us was like from in love, and they drove three hours from Victorville, California, yeah. to come get married right next to us. Mm-hmm. Ever imagine like pulling up to get married on some shit you might regret later, and then it's J Lo and Hey, I, I'm not gonna lie, I would get the fuck out of line. That line is cursed if J Lo's in it to get married. <laughs> I'm walking out. I'm like, we're gonna do the next one. <laughs> okay, so this is my thing. So you guys don't think they're gonna last? Cause Ben, no! Ben has also been married before. Yep. Yeah. Right. How many yeah. times? He's also dated a lot of does, people. Before. How many rings does Ben have? Guys are the ones that buy the rings. Why is it on J Lo that guys want to marry her? Like that to me is not a diss. That a guy loves you so much, it's he's gonna want to marry you. It's, it's just facts. But she gets the because no. I'll give her her ninth ring if she let me. But she gets the shitty end of the stick for that. Like to well, her, she it's like yes. <laughs> She doesn't know how to say no. I think she's sa- imagine to all the people she said yes to, the ones she said no to. Because oh, Loki, yeah. I really swear that full Casper Smart definitely would have fucking proposed to her. He did he? he all of he them. Pro- she like, probably, he probably proposed to her and she said no. And she said no. So just my thing is like we put a lot on her when she's the one like she's not asking these fools to marry her mm-hmm. or to, to ask her to be married. Mm-hmm. And literally these guys have also had like Mark Anthony straight up hoe. But we do not say shit about him. Yeah, True. that needs to be. Yeah, that needs to be fair. So we need to know all their numbers of like the the times they've been married. Oh, we we, we talked about Mark yeah. Anthony. We made we roasted him pretty. I was good not too. here when you guys. I know. I but don't we, know. I feel like yeah. you guys we roasted him. him up. No, you called him the Avengers yeah, Lucky Nas or whatever. The he's getting the rings. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did. I am You're right. Yeah. yeah. How, how many standard? F- for how many times have J Lo been married? I think not a lot. I think, I think this one. Uh, I mean, either her second or third. It says number of this marriage four. On this would be her marriage fourth, and then Ben Affleck he was married to Jennifer Garner. Garner. So that's mm-hmm. the second marriage. Like oh, so she's trying to catch up to my granddad first. I don't know how many. <laughs> Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony's a wild boy too. Mm-hmm. He's a wild boy. Like I'm with people getting married multiple times as long as you guys end there well. It seems like she does. I don't think, because especially seeing Diddy always be cool with her, Mark Anthony be cool with her. Oh, like, yeah, it seems like she can, yeah, she can run into her so exes. Yeah, look, he proposed I feel like her. A-Rod was like the, like, I feel like they were so meant to be. Because they it were like, maybe they people. were too meant to be. Yeah. How maybe many they were she have with each marriage? Surely has two with Mark Anthony. Yeah. She and the rest are adoptive? No, she doesn't have any other kids. She just has two kids. I think. I've seen her do TikTok with like a gang of kids. No, Probably she like has her kids, kids she, friends, or something. No, I'm pretty sure she has a, a kids that are that, that she adopted. No, no. that's Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Oh shit, I'm tripping. <laughs> J Lo only has two. Yeah. yeah, with Mark Anthony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then imagine those damn them kids been to nine weddings from both their parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They like to party. Yeah, <laughs> the receptions. Yeah, they must also love church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what episode? You want to do brown bag shout outs? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking, there were so many. So many. Yeah, but I saw some at the bottom. Oh. 
Okay, so shout out Christopher at Staples Center. What's up, Chris? For whatever reason, I wrote that down. There were so many at Staples Center. So many. Shout crypto, out to everyone that's said. Whatever you want to call it. What's up? Uh, everybody at the fight, shout out to you guys. Uh, Mauricio at Checos in What's Lennox. Checos? The Lennox uh, Marisco spot that's in the backyard. Oh, nice. We got to go there one day. Yeah, let's go, Mauricio. Let's go. Yeah, shout out Mauricio. So you went there? Yeah. And then he see me, he was like, look at me. He's like, like your podcast, fool. And I was okay. like, oh, shit. I'm going to ask Angie this. Which one of us wrote? Buff Postal Dude at oh, BevMo. I already know who it is, though. Okay, let me not ask yeah. Angie. Who doesn't know? We all know. You know? No, I don't. Okay, oh. which one of us put Buff Postal Dude at BevMo? Guess. From them three. From us three. From Buff Post to you? No, not me. Guess again. My Joshi. Do you know? Do you know? Vic. <laughs> Vic. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, look. Shout out. It's because I didn't get his name. But, but I you wanted knew he to... was buff, right? He was fucking huge. Was like, buff. he was ripped. And you, you knew he was a postal dude. Yeah, because he told me. So, look. Mm. It, it was That's a funny crazy, story. Look. I love it. Okay. Yeah, I was sure. at Bedmo Glockiana. And then... I'm like looking for wine. I don't, I've never like. Freaky, huh? Looking for wine. Why is it freaky? It's, it's, it's what a day? beverage. What day is it? Uh, it doesn't matter the what day. What wine did you get? <laughs> what day of the, the week was it? The footprint wine? It was a day of the week. It was like on a Tuesday? <laughs> no, no, no. It was later in the Wednesday? week. Wednesday? Later, later in the week. Horny. He's <laughs> horny. horny. That's super horny. All right. So look, so we're, uh, I'm, I don't know too much about wine. So I'm like looking around. And then uh, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe this one, maybe that one. And then this dude walks by and he's like, he did like a super fast take and he's like, Rosecrans Vic? And I was just like, what? And I was like, yeah. Like, we both looked We looked at him, and he was like. Fucking like I had the gun ready? <laughs> <laughs> we were like, I was like, yeah. And then he was like, bro, I heard your voice. I didn't even see you. I just heard wow. your voice. That's fire. Yeah. Wow. Shout out the buff guy. Yeah. And then I'll, he's like, yeah. He's like, um, you shouted out postal workers. I'm a postal worker. I love that. And he's like, and I listen to you guys on my routes. And I was like, oh, shout out to you. And yeah. then um, he told us what wine to get and everything. So shout out to him. I just didn't get shout his name. Him. That's why I referred to him as was Buff he cute? Postal Dude. Yeah, he was, he was a Good handsome man. Guy. He was a handsome man for sure. Um, shout out to all the postal workers. Yes. Shout out to all the truck drivers. We saw that yes. there was like a truck strike, and we know a lot of you listen to us. Yes. And Actually, shout out to all have you guys people. ever read the the comments on like Apple's? I mean, Apple Podcast. No. The reviews they leave us. No. Bro, some of these reviews are fire. Like people yeah. are like. Yeah. People like people are the funniest, but they're also the dopest. Like a lot of the, where now that you said truck, there was a truck driver that said that he drives a lot and when and he's like he's like dude, what I have one. Of, well, he's like he's like he's like bro, I look forward to driving on on yeah. on certain days because I know I can listen to you guys. And he's like and he's like he used to listen to the radio a lot. Wow. Some of that he's like, but when I when he I seen a post about listening to podcasts and you guys were the first people I tried out and you guys made me fall in love with. Podcast all around. Love that's that. And I'm like, that's crazy. Well, don't look at the other ones. They're not like us. Yeah, exactly. definitely not like us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, we're like super highly rated on, on Apple Podcasts that's as well. Very good. Get yeah. It. But you know, it, th that's what I'm saying. Like us talking to people is, is is so dope. And also, I did see something that a lot of the a lot of the listeners that only listen like only listen audio. audio we got to stop eating. <laughs> They're like, dude, we love the podcast, but fuck, you guys eat so much. Yes. And that's like. We didn't eat this episode. Yeah. yeah. At all. Shout out to us. Or so. take a break. Or yeah, we went break. all the way through. Wow. Fucking killing it. Today was a great bite. But yeah, I, I thought that was dope. I was like, yeah. damn, that's crazy. The audio listeners, because we're, we're mostly in tune yeah. with the like. We're like audio fools and foolettes. Just fucking eat with us, dog. It's really hard out here. Because we be hungry. We are Facts. hungry. We record this. Like, okay, you listen to us in the morning or in the evening. We record this at, like, and we get here at 2 p.m. By that time, that's lunch. Mm -hmm. For me, that's dinner because I'm up at 4 in the morning. That's I've already done my 9 to 5. Then I come here. And so I haven't eaten that time. So that knows, like, yeah. a little bit of a, a, a pass. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Damn, bro, you've been talking to a little Mr. Eat a lot, huh? <laughs> He's been <What>? like. <laughs> See, he did that. Shout out, no, I know that's yeah. him. Oh, shout, okay. shout out my boy, Little Mystery. Call Eric. him right now if you're so cool. Let's yeah. just call him and hang up. Let's let's ding let's dong ditch him. Call him not. Let's ding dong ditch him. <laughs> nah, that's fucked up. Let's ding dong ditch someone. Who can we ding dong ditch? Um, who should we? Andrew Schultz. Call him. Yeah, I know you guys' number now. I don't have no, his number. Both Duno and I have called people. It's been a while since wow. you called. Yeah, I called my cousin. Nobody Damn, like. You no. called your fun. mom. Yeah, and that shit was like super boring. So let's ding so dong ding someone. Come on. Yeah. Who's, I don't know who to call. Ghostbusters. Come on, bro. Uh, call little Mr. Ian, then we'll just hang up on him, bro. <laughs> no. Just fucking do it. Uh, no pressure. You got this, bro. She wants to hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's packing. 
<laughs> that was that was edgy <laughs> for all you audio I, listeners. What am I going to tell him? I'm just going to hang him, up. Tell him, caramba. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to get picked up for like <laughs> I know. season fucking I'm out of here, motherfuckers. I'm out of here. Of fuck the Simpsons. Something. That shit was so good. Can you please just do it? What am I going to tell him? Just literally do the... Just yeah. do it one That's time and we it? hang up, bro. Oh, I should have never told you guys I got his number. All right, let's see. You can do it, dog. If I just want to run the relationship. Exactly. I'm building it. I'm building wow. it. Wow. You're playing with him. We all have called your people. Name, your name for him on your phone is very... Um, all right, so I'm just gonna call just him. And call I'm just gonna him go. Just, right. yeah, he'll do the same thing. That's what he stays all day doing. All right. <laughs> Relationship is ruined. It's not gonna be ruined. He's gonna love you even more. All right, all right. I don't think he loves you. I think you're a sick asshole. I'm gonna no, it's too late. <laughs> he didn't want to connect to the Bluetooth. Please leave your message. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave your message. No, let's leave. Oh, no, he's not doing it to disturb. He's just mm. like you guys. Call it again. Oh, true. Call it again. Or maybe I'm blocked. No, the You're second no. time you call, <laughs> it, it, it rings. Come on, bitch. I don't want to do it. Bitch, just Come fucking on. do it, bitch. Oh. <laughs> He'll love you more, dog. All right, all right, all right. Or block your number. <laughs> I think I'm already blocked. Just do it, big. Fine. You have cooler right. friends anyway. You have me and Duno. All right, you're right. So you watch. It's going to ring this time. I hate when people do Duno. Please leave your message. Okay. Oh. Thank God. Or his phone died. Hey, little mystery. If you see this, if anyone sees this, tag him, put him in the comments. Be like, hey, brown bag called you and you didn't answer. You left them on whatever. Vic is afraid you're not going to be his friend anymore. <laughs> All of that. Look at it closely, dog. Look at it closely. <laughs> <laughs> the live show's coming oh, up. I'm going to that one too. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> 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 hey, say like, hey, say like, hey, say like one whole line. In, and and for for your best little Mr. E voice, I need to I need to I need to work on hot it. Cheetos. Say something like hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. That was a good one. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work next time. For who's the right. best? For who's the best? Haha! From all of us. Okay, let's, let's go. do it. Let's try it. All right. Haha! <laughs> That's pretty good. That's good. All right. Haha! <clears throat> <laughs> nah, my son. <laughs> I'm a rapy boy. Angie, you try. Ha-ha. Oh, that was, Actually, have that you was ever seen Orange Fools Gone Wild? That was yes, so, but I was laughing. That was so Orange County. Whatever. But can I get a retry? Go. <laughs> nah, it's the bad fuck. What are you doing? We should have little Vic try to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Vic, go on, go on Angie's mic and oh try it. All right, come on, love it. You got to try it. I told you to come here. told you to come here. Ha-ha. That was actually good. That was actually good. All right, go. Vic, do it again. Ha-ha. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Good. that's me. It's, it's between me and Vic. Put okay, it in the comments. Okay, you gotta say sick ass fool, and then I think that'll be the tiebreaker. Okay. Sick ass fool. Sick ass fool. Let the one. Yeah. What? <laughs> Episode two of the bitch. <laughs> Episode two of the bitch. Two of the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you, you know what's it. worse? Saying Duno's a female dog is so much worse than saying Duno's a bitch, but it's the actually the better one. Because yeah. Loki saying bitch on the title will probably fuck us up. Well, sorry that we're cursing so much if you're listening with children. Also, sorry, Little Vic. Yes. Also, sorry, children of all ages that listen to us. Because we met a lot of young people at our How fucking meeting. Dunos up. <laughs> yeah, <Duno's> up. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> yo, you needed voiceover work. Dog. Like, you, yo, <laughs> so you, you, dog. you know what's crazy? Real quick before we leave. My mom, one of my mom's Zumba friends, she's like 30. She's uh -huh. like hella young. She fucking, um, she's an agent for voiceovers. Wow, tell what? me what's up, dog. In Spanish, too. Oh, shit, I'm fucked. But it's okay. As long as you're gonna do that, <laughs> you're gonna you get booked for anything. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We love you. You could choose any podcast in the world, but you listen to us. It's Brown Bag, a.k.a. Golden Bag, a.k.a. What's up, Golden Boy? Actually, matter of fact, shout out to Anthony. He's the one that hooked us up with Golden shout Boy out Anthony. all of that. Thanks. Shout out Anthony for set up the fight between me and Jojo Diaz, me and, me and um, um... You and Cheeky's man, you yeah. and J-Lo's man. We get packed out for me and all these packs. Root for you. I'm just saying, Chiki, if I see you, I'm just saying, Chiki, if I see you with your man, I'm gonna suck your man. Becky what? G, if I see you with your man, just know I'm gonna drop kick him, bow. Oh and then, gosh. if I'm I, drop kick him. and then, um, what was it called? Ben Affleck? Ben Affleck. Ben, I, if I, ben Affleck, if I see you, I'm just calling, I'm, I'm from a color joker on you. Take care of Ben, you already know. You guys should be with me, not with them bum ass fools. You feel me? Come home, you feel me? <laughs> I am the future. But also, shout out your girl. But I thought, shout out dumbass. <laughs> and then, big. Shout out, Lil Vic. 
No, and then shout out Fucking any team you want to root for. Oh, yeah. You guys got to book me for any time you want me to root for you. Do you like, you know how they have the jumper, the jumper ads? You know how they have the ads? Okay. You know how they have the ads for the jumpers? It's just Vic, but with like the ads. Like, Literally, like rent that. me for yeah. your event for to root parties, for you. For parties, That's right. Ways. I'll root for y'all right there. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> King Ride. You know what I'm saying? Whoever it is. Whoever it is, I'm rooting for you. Just yeah, book me, give me floor seats. I'm straight. He's yeah. stupid. We're right. definitely there. And yeah. then Angie's rooting for the Dodgers even just she's from the OC. Even though she's yeah. probably never been to Dodgers yeah. Stadium. I have once. Twice. With us. <laughs> twice. 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 Fire. Right. Fire. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We out.